All right. Hey, look at that. I'm back. So, about last night, my internet died out right while I was, you know, making my way through the dungeon. For those of you who aren't aware. Uh, it's one of the reasons I don't like streaming past midnight, because I know my ISP is more likely to start you doing maintenance on their network. So it's not the first time I've had my stream ended up, you know, once past midnight. So, yeah, nothing new, but hey. Uh, thankfully, I, I noticed as soon as it went down, so no one missed anything. I didn't, like, activate a cutscene or anything. Uh, but hey, welcome back, everyone. Tonight we'll be finishing up Cosmo Canyon, assuredly. So, all that's left after that is, like, one more region. Evening, sir. Long time viewer for us says Dia Morte official. Been turn turning in while working. Wanted to wish you well. Thanks for your talents and years of quality work. Been great to be along for the ride. Cheers. Well, hey, I got a drink right here with me. I'm gonna like take a sip for you. Thank you for your kind words, Dia Morte. Hopefully, many years to come of me making continuing to make good stuff that you like, and also live streams that maybe you're interested in watching. Even at work. Uh, but hello everyone. YouTube, Twitch guys. Hope everyone's had a good day. And you're all rested up. Shinra versus Microsoft and Disney. Who wins the Monopoly War? I, well, only one of those has a military. They could win the actual war, not just a Monopoly War. And they create, like, robots and... You know, I'm pretty sure Disney and Microsoft are screwed, alright? I just say that much. Uh, Cosmo Canyon has literally canceled Shinra since they're wind powered. You know, you think they'd have more solar power too. Didn't notice any any of that around. Uh, but finally finished yesterday's stream to catch up with you today and keep seeing them when you're well. <laughs> Sorry for the abrupt ending to that stream. I'm assuming it cut me off mid sentence or something. You got lost to time compression again last night. Yeah, I actually died. You know, and whatever the, whatever that your know, fan favorite ending is of FF8. What I meant, what's up, Decider Blank? How you doing? Chad, it's getting warm out. <laughs> Today, I, I'm going to have to stop wearing my hoodie soon. Like, you know what? Today, was if I'd gone running, I would have probably broken a sweat. In fact, I might need to turn my air conditioner on tonight. Because, if, if well, maybe now the sun is going down. Not so much, but I am noticing it's like, hmm, getting a little uncomfortable though. What's up? What's up, Dean? How you doing? How's, how's it hanging? You know what? I could be worse. I have almost finished my Silent Hill video, so as soon as I get that done, I'm done with all the, like, the Patreon launch content, and I can focus on making an FF7 video, which will technically also be Patreon launch content, but only, you know, in a different way. Got really warm today, hit 80 degrees, so it's not that warm for me here, but it's up in that point where you don't need your jacket anymore, or even like a light, uh, long sleeve shirt. Uh. Also, did bench uh, bench press today, so arms a little sore. Which Silent Hill? The original Silent Hill. I am making that as part of the new Classic Sin series. It'll be going up on the Patreon when I launch the Patreon. It's going to be launch day content. Just now thought of this. Uh, you can mod Crazy Taxi on the Dreamcast. Well, you, you can mod the Dreamcast and you know, put that onto your modded Dreamcast, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna have two different videos ready for like the Patreon launch. One is DLC sins, the other is classic sins. The DLC sin video is already done, and that's on Resident Evil separate ways. Well, Resident Evil 4 separate ways, I should say. It's paid only content. Technically, well, yeah. However, I'm keeping it dirt cheap. It's only gonna be three bucks. Uh, but you gotta, you gotta have something if you're gonna make a Patreon. I don't want to use it as like a tip jar that people just contribute if they want to and get nothing out of it. So yeah, the DLC and Classic Sins will be on Patreon. But you get more than just those too. You get your name at the end of Game Sins videos. You get Game Sins videos ad free and uncensored. And you'll get like special like bonus content for me that can be just about anything. Uh, consider this my way of making sure I don't have to do, like, stupid brand, you know, reads in my videos. You know, there's like, hey, let me stop the video's content for a minute to tell you about Dollar Shave Club. Or all that bullshit. You're good? Hey, I'm not saying you have to. If you don't want it, you don't need it. You'll still be getting game sins for free.
Uh, let's see. Uh, I just uh, okay. Yeah, I'll sign up for Patreon, and will be my first subscription on that flame. Well, anyway, I appreciate it. Like I said, it's gonna be. I'm gonna be producing a pretty decent amount of like side content for it. But hey, game sins were made a YouTube thing. Nothing's changed over that. Dirt's gonna become a billionaire in no time. That does not happen on Patreon ever. In fact, I'll be lucky if I even make as much off Patreon as I make off YouTube. It, it can really go hit. It, it's really unknown how it can go. Some people do well on it, some people don't. Uh, glad you aren't one of those people that do Patreon plus ad reads. Yeah, I, I, want, I really just do not want to do ad reads. They always like ruin the flow of a video and then force the people watching to skip through it. So I'd rather just do a Patreon that at the end of a video I can like give a personal thanks to people. Uh, I'll join the Patreon but I'll no longer be a YouTube member. I mean you'll get more out of the Patreon anyways. Uh, on YouTube you just get your know, emotes. You use ad block anyway. I mean, most people do. Though I believe YouTube has been trying to like make it so you can't use ad block anymore these days. From what I recall, the discussions a few months back. It is what it is, though. Finally caught up with your streams. Well, congratulations. But last night's stream would have been a little bit longer because I was planning to finish up the dungeon, but internet died on me. How do you feel about additions they've made to Red 13 or the rest of the game? So far, I'm pretty cool with everything they've decided to do, because it's usually just, as like you said, additions. The only change they've made that I'm not sold on is what they've shown with Sid so far, because he's like a pretty friendly guy. And in the original game, Sid was like a bitter and kind of very upset man when you first get to know him, because he's like his dream is basically going to space has basically been destroyed. So he's not exactly in a good mood. And it takes a while before him to, you know, lighten up a bit. I'm assuming they're saving that attitude for the third game when they'll introduce, when they'll spend more time on him and he'll become an actual character member. So maybe they're like, uh, I'm just, that's me spitballing. I'm assuming they're going to still keep that in there, but have it all be in one place. Hmm. You were doing today to take a rest, my friend. Uh, I wasn't originally planning to today, but... My internet died last night. Even though I did a full link stream last night, my internet died before I could finish the dungeon. And I figured I didn't want to leave people like hanging on the dungeon for like a day or so. So yeah, like, one more stream, then I'll take a day off or something. Will you consider to do Chrono Trigger or Chrono Cross Sins? Uh, possibly. Those would fall under Classic Sins. I am definitely also considering like FF9. And uh, what was that? Some other uh, JRPGs that I played back in... PS1 days as well, uh, you know, Parasite Eve, as well as games like Deus Ex, Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines, and some older horror. There's a lot, pretty much quite a few things I can actually do. Uh, but yeah, I can consider a Chrono Tree. I mean, I've played both of those, actually. Chrono Cross would be hard to do, though. I'm not gonna lie, because that game has so many different characters you can have in your party at any given time. Uh, you can have both, but for me, financially, I can, can I mean, hey, I'm, I'm not blaming you. Uh, so, uh, don't, please don't spend too much money on me ever. Like, you don't, like, that's why one reason I keep, it's one reason I keep my membership on YouTube, like, two bucks or something. Because I feel five dollars is too much of an ask. I wish I could change it on Twitch as well, but Twitch doesn't let me. Also, Morgana Faye, thank you for the, speaking of Twitch, for the tier one sub at, many other months that is hoping they release the third game in 2027 for the 30th anniversary you know what i wouldn't be surprised if they aim for that i, would, yeah, I didn't even realize that but you might be onto something i guess that shinra is still up to the in the air about sid's space dream well yeah i'm thinking they're also keeping all the space stuff to like the game it'll be relevant in instead of splitting up and like mentioning it here and then later on like i doubt you even go to rocket town in this game since i'm assuming sid is role is kind of minor in this one we'll save that for the next game as well uh but yeah never spend money on me you don't have don't go broke i'm just a streamer the old content creator i ain't worth it buy yourself a nice sandwich i think the ff9 sins will ruin you because i know you love it but you will notice lots of discrepancies and writing uh errors that may or well that's the thing i actually enjoy sending games that i really like 
That's usually what makes my best videos. Because you're right, and that's actually that's like all what all my content is about is taking things that people enjoy and letting them see discrepancies that they were kind of blind to when they originally played it. So I'm not immune to that either. There's things that I've definitely missed on games I've loved or like you'll know, gloss over and pretend not to notice. Uh, so I've always felt like my best videos are the ones for games I really enjoy for that very reason. Also, thank you, Super Tramp, for five more gifted memberships. Damn, man, you were a champion. Uh, but hey, thank you. You guys got a gift sub, I mean, a gift membership from Super Tramp? Send him some love. Give him a thank you. Pat him on the back. Uh, maybe bat your eyelash at him in your most sexy manner you can possibly pull off. He'll enjoy it. Do you work, have a job outside of stream and YouTube? No, this is content creation for YouTube and streams is my job. I used to have, I worked a regular job plus YouTube for like the first half of the, my career doing it. Like uh, from 2014 to 2019, I worked a full-time job and then would come home and immediately get to work on YouTube stuff and do live streams. It was a real fun time, well I tell you that. Real fun, having no days off ever for like five years. But eventually I reached the point where I didn't need to do that anymore. So now my attention goes all to this, this kind of thing. Goodbye, stranger. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. You know what? I'll miss you. If I may ask, what makes FF9 your favorite one? I know a lot of people love it, but I didn't like it myself. For me, it's the cast of characters. You're all the cast, not just your party members, but the ex you know, extra cast as well. Uh, I just kind of really love them. And I also really like the world. Like the, I'm not usually a big fan of steampunk or fantasy steampunk in that case, but for some reason the world of FF9 really clicked with me very well. Uh, so I'd say it's mainly that, because the gameplay is like nothing too crazy outside of like the previous Final Fantasy 7 VII and 8. Uh, in some ways, it's a bit more simple because the way you learn magic and abilities is just like equip weapons and armor, and boom, you learn it over time. I don't know, but yeah, it's mainly just down to like the cast, I think. Uh, let's see. People seem to be kind of mixed on Red 13's real voice twist. Well, it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, I already knew that he was considered like a teenager by his own people or his own his like race. Uh, and that was a bit of a surprise when the the team learned that that uh he was you know such and such years old. Uh, they they probably just tried to think of a way how could they depict that in the game more than just having people make a surprise Pikachu face when they find out or have like so they settled on okay maybe he's like speaking with a fake voice to sound older and wiser when he when he's with the team and you know, I'm I'm actually pretty okay with it honestly who's my favorite author hmm. well my favorite book is Snow Crash from Neil Stevenson but I don't think Neil Stevenson is my favorite author because most of his stuff the only three books he has I like were all written in like the 80s or early 90s. Everything he's written since then has been a boring mess. Uh, also, I used to like Stephen King, but the same thing. Most of the books he has that I liked were older ones, and all the stuff he's written in like my lifetime have been kind of crap. Uh, who would be my favorite author? Hmm. I don't know. I have to get back to you on that one. I. Do, I do. One thing you'll learn about me is I don't try to classify favorites too often. I like to like be able to generalize a bit more than that instead of being locked in. You like FF9's cartoony aesthetic? I kind of like that too. I didn't think I would because I usually like more realistic looking things, but the fact that it was so stylized really worked to its, its benefit. No, the opposite. All the characters except for VV sucked for me. I mean, to each their own. I mean, everyone's going to have different life experiences that lead them to like a cast versus other people. Uh, I don't know, I guess the themes of the game and also the characters and their trials and tribulations just kind of like work with me. You can't really say anything other than that, just that it just like, it casts a spell on me. And I, you know, I liked it because of it, so. But I, I understand, not everyone was into it. I think it was actually one, it was, of the three Final Fantasy games on PlayStation 1, it was the weakest selling. Uh, but it's also like one of the most highly regarded, you know, in past tense now. Favorite video game composer? Mines are Nobu Umatsu and Grant Kirkhope. Grant Kirkhope is the rare guy, right? Uh, favorite? I mean, U Nobu Umatsu does have a lot of music I've, I loved over the years. So he would definitely be in that group. Hey, hey, Dorgan. What's up? How you doing? Hope you're, you're good. 
What's your favorite movie genre? Generally horror. I like a lot of horror movies. Favorite Stephen book, Stephen King series of the Dark Tower. Uh, I like the first three Dark Tower. I didn't like any of the ones after the, th the third book, The Wasteland. Felt like it really fell off, especially the last three books were god awful. FF6 is the best. You know, I like FF6, but I could that's the one I actually couldn't really get into that much. At least not the second half of it I can. But I do like uh, Kafka. Speaking of Kafka, someone likes the writer Kafka. Uh, favorite video game composer, but uh, I'll have to get, like I said, Nobu Umatsu. Uh, crap. I actually don't remember that many composers. I usually just like, oh, that game's music. Who was Kingdom Hearts composer? Uh, some lady. I forget her name. I think there is no best Final Fantasy game. Final Fantasy is like a buffet of crazy worlds. Well, no, no everyone can have their favorite uh, because they all offer a like, unique experience generally. Uh, let's see. Mm hmm. Probably Hitoshi Sakamoto and Yuja Sujioko. Hmm. Skrillex helped with the modern king. Yeah, that's still so hard to believe that Skrillex was part of Kingdom Hearts. He's canon. <laughs> Whatever regarded as subject, favorite is subjective. Well, that's everything, though, right? Everyone's going to have, like, a subjective opinion on what their favorite is. But not just Final Fantasy. Every form of media is going to have its detractors and, like, applaud, applauders. Uh, I loved SOP, even though a lot of the Final Fantasy fans didn't like it. The Strangers of Paradise? I liked it in some cases because of how... Uh, I'm one of those people that just liked that the main character was this weirdo <laughs> who listens to, like, um... Not to early 2000s, late 90s music on his smartphone in his fantasy universe and then just tries to speed run the game he's in. Uh, it it kind of ran out of steam pretty quickly though, I feel. It should have kept up that crazy energy for the entire game and it would have been like a classic. Just more scenes like that where he just like walks away listening to Limp Biscuit, <laughs> And, you know, talks about chaos. <laughs> Love to stay in chat, but I've fallen off hard on Kingdom Hearts, and you finally hit the point where I am, and I don't want to be spoiled. So, good stream. Hey, I understand, man. Uh, hopefully you get ahead of me again soon so you can join more streams, but I'll see you when I see you then. Regardless, you have a good day, man. Uh, but, uh, other than that, yeah, we're going to be beating up your dead people tonight, chat. <laughs> Which is your favorite Metro game? Exodus... A 10 out of 10. Oh, uh, Last Light is my favorite. Keep in mind, I've never played the first Metro game. I've only played Exodus and Last Light. Which is where all my Last Light boob jokes come from. <laughs> One thing that made me respect Yoko Shimura uh, is that she fucking hated making the Mermaid Song section of Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> I don't blame her. That was got probably forced on her. Th that should have been cut. Should have been cut. There's like no point in it being there. I just got here and I heard boobs. I was asked about Metro games and I was talking about Last Light, which I don't know if you know, I've recommended several times because it has the best boob technology in any game to this date. Still hasn't been taught. I'm looking forward to you playing Kingdom Hearts 4 even though we haven't seen any footage of the game. You just want me to get irrationally angry over it, aren't you? I kind of wanted to lose his mind. Can't wait to see what Nomura does to him now. Uh, let's see. I'll go now. I follow another Let's Play from Atomium. Okay, well, all right, chat. I'm gonna have to remind everyone. It's usually bad form to like talk about other streamers and other streamers' chat. Like, don't go to my their stream and talk about me. But uh, hey, watch what you gotta watch. It's perfectly fine with me. Uh, Death Note, thank you for the 39 months, man. Uh, hi, Dart, how's your day? You know what? Pretty good. Been working on content, did a workout, had some, like, egg fried rice earlier, so I'm pretty filled up. Uh, you've never played any Final Fantasy or have any interest in the series, but I still come here almost daily, and I have no idea why. Are you holding me hostage? I have your... I, I'm a mind goblin, you see. 
You're just like, I want to see what he's going to say about things. I want it. I want you. That's the point of a stream, actually. It's not so much the game. It's what the streamer is doing in the game, saying while playing the game and other such things. So I apologize for being the mind goblin that is taking control of a couple hours of your life per day. <laughs> Don't worry. One day you'll learn how to quit me. Everyone does eventually. <laughs> Can't wait for Kingdom Hearts to introduce nobodies of nobodies, double nobodies, just to piss. You know what? At some point, they're going to have to bring in algebra and calculus to explain all the, you know, the, the lore of Kingdom Hearts. Like, you'll be able to get, like, a college, you know, class. <laughs> Since Final Fantasy IX is your favorite, have you seen any of the Studio Ghibli films? It reminds me of those. I've seen a couple of Studio Ghibli films. Princess Mononoke. Uh, Spirited Away. I'm ass I have not seen Howl's Moving Castle, which I'm assuming is probably what you're thinking of. I know the themes of that movie and also Nausicaa Valley of the Wind so a few of them we need a Dardigan rehab support <laughs> no no you can't quit me like that keep injecting me straight into your veins chat Dardigan even sounds like a drug tonight on news 11 kids are being consumed minds destroyed by a new drug known as Dardigan keep watching to find out how to protect your children from Dardigan <laughs> Okay, I should not phrase it in that way. You gotta save up for Persona 5 Sin? Well, I'm giving you a second way of getting the Persona 5 Sin video. Because if uh, the Patreon does well enough, I'll have to Sin Persona 5. That's right. I'm putting my, I'm putting, uh, my neck on the line. My kid's playing darts right now. He's a dart head. I knew it. You find like your know, like hyperlinks that they're sharing. Like, are you doing dart right now? As your lawyer, I recommend you shut up and protect you. You think I have a lawyer? I can't afford a lawyer. Unless you're doing this pro bono. Uh, didn't know you have one. I don't have one yet. I'm currently in the you know process of putting one together, as well as making the uh, the content for it. So that'll probably be launching. Uh, next month now. I was originally planning to launch it this month, but this game is taking so long to get through. And I won't be launching it until this video is finished. Uh, so probably in April. So next month. Team Arts 5 will take place in real life. Well, awesome. Parts of it, maybe. I'll be on and off today, but I dig you, Dart. Well, hey, there's another person who's on the Dart. It's so freaking lame. Hey, you on the Dart? <laughs> Will you ever send the other Mafia games? I have Mafia 1 and 2, the video footage for it, so at some point I would like to, just to get it off my hard drive. That'd be nice. It's like, oh, it's not taking up 50 to 60 gigs of space anymore. Legend has if you say Dart again three times in the mirror, he plays Persona 5. <laughs> Please, I'm glad that's just the urban legend. Uh, I'm skipping FF7 Rebirth. Maybe some other time. I'm picking up Dragon's Dogma 2. Hey, play what you gotta play, man. You don't have to justify your, your choices. I always say, game on. <laughs> the lamest thing. Game on. Game on, brother. We're all gamers, right? <laughs> play what we want. We play hard. We don't take shit from anybody. Join the seat. Yeah, show me the handshake. Yeah. <laughs> secret handshakes and all we have like under hidden underground basements where we meet and do dart <laughs> uh I was on both uh except darting well I'm not a gamer thought I was at least a yo at least in the ranks happy pie day everyone I didn't know this was a celebration of like you know a mathematical formula but I'll take it We're a bunch of dart heads. Oh, man. When you're on dart, it's like you've seen a whole nother world, man, and it sucks. <laughs> Off topic, but have you seen the Nintendo Twitter said nothing feels better than inside of a cat? It's a real tweet. I'm assuming there's some missing context surrounding this tweet. Dart sounds like a fallout drug. You know what? I'm right there next to Skuma. 
So I'm more of like an Elder Scroll, you know, thing. You, you know, you know, that cat smoke. Oh, uh, you want to have Skumba, yes? Also, Elijah B. Knight with a $5 super chat. Damn. My birthday is coming up, and this is the best way to spend my birthday week. Thank you for streaming and making my birthday week. Well, happy birthday uh, for however old you're going to be soon. Uh, I wish you a good uh, birthday day, year, and many more birthdays in your future. And may your wishes continue to be fulfilled in a non-monkey's paw way. Meaning that you don't get something bad for what you're thinking. Why do I do this? Why do I ruin every nice thing I'm saying by throwing in a dumb joke? I'm just wishing someone happy birthday and I bring up monkey paws. You know what? Screw it. Mazel tov, or uh, whatever. Have a good one, man. You enjoy your birthday. Eat some cake. Uh, light some candles. Be with family and friends. This is your three months on Dart. I'm behind on my desertations and I need more money to subscribe. It's what it does to you. It ruins you financially. Uh, what game will you next video cover? Sorry if it's been asked. Uh, this one, actually. My next game sim video is going to be on FF7. So that's what you have to look forward to. Uh, I would kind of like to do a horror game after this, so it might either be Alan Wake 2 versus uh, the upcoming Alone in the Dark game. Now back to the yellow wall paint. Well, sort of, yeah, especially in this in this dungeon. <laughs> Alright, so, if you remember chat, last night we were making our way through uh, Red 13's unique uh, dungeon in Cosmo Canyon. And then my uh, internet died on me, so I couldn't continue playing. Thankfully, I was still at a five-hour stream, so I did, it felt like a decent stopping point anyways. But, not, but tonight, we finish that up, and then we're going to finish up doing things in Cosmo Canyon, and I'm assuming head on to Nibelheim. You know, the final region of the game. So we're getting there. For those of you who doubted me, we're getting there. Let me turn my monitor on. That might help. You want to see the Alone in the Dark? Uh, I've never played an Alone in the Dark game, so it'll be my first. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Alright, uh, you know what? Bugenhagen could really... Bugenhagen... Chad, does Bugenhagen not look like he can do some magic or something to help in a fight? This guy walks around in a big materia orb and just doesn't do anything. Alright, so, uh, I don't think... I didn't do anything when the internet died last night. I think I just opened up this gate and then I stopped as soon as I noticed the stream was dead. So no cutscenes activated. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going. <clears throat> You've milked that Joe as far as you can. I mean, trust me, I do that every stream with every joke I do. Bugahagen, Minnesotan accent. You know what? We'll all have a different way of saying it. I don't give anyone shit for the way they pronounce something because I pronounce words weird in my regional dialect all the time. And then I get shit for it. Just look at all the people trying to make fun of me for the way I say melee. 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 You would think that's like the worst thing you could ever say. How dare he. The word is sacred to my people. Us Smash Brother players. Can I say naked? Na I have actually heard... I've had someone explain to me the way I say naked is different from everyone else because most people say naked. Did I say naked? Because there's a fucking A in the word. <laughs> That's why. No, everyone else wants to say naked. The, uh, hmm. This looks ominous. The, uh, okay, and they gave me like a way of like getting myself healed up before. And did I really lose my internet right before the boss fight? Is that what happened? Uh, looks like we're good supply-wise. I really do need to buy another piece of revival material, though.
Oh, look at that. Hey, Narsix. Narsix? Thank you for the 35 months. Uh, let's see. I think we're good. You can just buy materia just like that. Yeah, you can also make it with Chandley. We are joined in Nick. Chad, how many of you are watching this stream naked right now? I just want you to know that I may or may not be wearing pants. Not that it matters to you. Uh, let's see. Barrett. Uh, I'm going to make sure I have revive on Barrett, I think. doesn't help Barrett any right now because he doesn't have this linked so I can like put something I think I put haste on Barrett as well all right we're good felt weird how how people say my name Leslie Leslie Hmm. Hey, my middle name's Dana. I used to get hell for that. Because I used to go by it. Uh, if you can just buy material like that, what's stopping Cloud and company from breaking into the kiosk and just taking it? Good question. Especially since there's no one who seems to like will care, since this is a vending machine in the middle of, like, a sealed cave that of dead people. Actually, this isn't even a vending machine. This is, like, a rock with a chest. Dana, Joel, Dardigan ain't my real man, you really. I know, <gasps> gasp, he's not using his real name on the internet. Oh, that, that's got, hell, that looks like an FF16 area. Five, we have to destroy the Mother Crystal. For real, heck, you thought Dardigan was my real name? Leader of the Gi, a people who were driven to extinction and cursed to roam as spirits, rejected by the life stream. He and his clan have been sealed in an underground cave left to fan the flames of hatred and the red miasma that envelops them. Lifting enough damage will pressure him. A curse will activate when the soul flames possess a statue. Have HP, have MP, deplete ATB, shrink the battlefield. Staggering Gi Natak will undo the curse. Doom will inflict instant death after a certain amount of time. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's a way I can prepare for that with a piece of material or item. But I might have to, like, die once before we get... I can't do that in the middle of battle, you know. You can be rejected by a live stream. Well, we found that out now, so yeah. Technically, Sephiroth is also rejected by the live stream. Can you use a revive or phoenix down? In the original game, you could kill it instantly with a phoenix down. Here, I think you can cast Cure on it. See, my real name isn't Sweetheart Smile. I mean, that'd be a very weird name, birth name, if it were.
right into his lunch bone butt. Oh yeah. Uh, Renoa would love that attack since it throws a dog at somebody. I know I have a summon, but I'm waiting to use it. Stay alive, Barrett. Barrett, were you? Barrett, have a Giga Potion. Fuck. It was like a second off of that Giga Potion. You know what? I'm not gonna be one of these people who holds on to their best items. Oh crap, I must have already used a really good Phoenix Bluff. Uh, I guess we're using Phoenix now. Look, I need two ATB here if I want to like bring Eric Barrett back to life and like keep him alive. This is not going well. I just want to point that out there, everyone who maybe thinks I'm kicking ass right now, which I'm assuming is the majority of you. Don't worry, I got gotcha. It's okay, we can recover. I got Giga Potions. You okay to go? You need me, huh? Get your ass out of Hey, 
Okay, I think I've recovered. I've stabilized. Said that he's now put every single yield anti buff on Barrett. Oh, but that's okay, that's what we wanted. It's what we wanted. We wanted him to take up everything except being silenced. While Barret's dead, I think I've lost. Might be it. He's sucking all my juice. And I got no ATB to use. Okay, that, that first try didn't go so well. Get him to half L, though. That's impressive, right? Traitor, you're supposed to be off tonight? Well, yeah, but I didn't finish this dungeon last night, and it felt like leaving people hanging if I didn't. So tonight, we're going to consider this an extra stream. I'm finishing this up, and then we'll finish up the rest of Cosmo Canyon. Assuming I get this fight taken care of. Uh, let's see. What would help me on this fight? Not that, so we're going to place that with something else. Oh, it would have been nice if I... Mm, we could put the Subversion on us to resist instant death if he uses that. But I think he just uses regular Doom, right? We'll try it anyways. He's got the other one on, so I'll take. Remember me to put this back on Yuvi later. Oh, an X potion at him. Well, yeah, you need ATB first, but you you mean at the enemy? I'm aware that you can probably do that, but I wanted to at least give it a college effort of trying to beat him with like your know, non cheesy methods. It's not a good look if you like beat this guy in the original game with a phoenix down. It's like you pussy. Remember to like the stream? Oh yeah, I gotta I got do that as a YouTuber. Remember to like the stream, hit that like button, smash it. Take it on a date and smash it. Really? <laughs> Caught me midair while spinning. I've been taught that when you spin, no one can catch you. Uh, let me, like, charge up or touch. Red 13 as well. Might help him out a bit. No, 
what really sucks? Enemies that just teleport around and you can only do physical attacks. Let me, let me just heal up with my remaining, like, move. Realize Barrett is out of MP. Uh, let's see. We need more after than that. Then we'll use the other little break on it. Okay, I have not seen this limit yet. Uh, Howl at the moon above, activating a longer lasting vengeance. But that's kind of shit, but sh sure, why not? Okay, never the attack skill. Any question if Natek is staggering and you throw a cure, cures, uh, of course, a curtain, will it do more damage to him? Probably, actually. Hopefully you guys can actually hear me over all this stuff. This is a very loud fight. That's toxic yield vocabulary, Baron. Do I need to I need to scan these, don't I? Uh, once a certain amount of time has passed after their summoning, they will possess a statue cursing the party. Ooh, okay. It's on you now. If you, well, you. Oh. All right, we need to summon now. Titan, get down here. Don't let me down, y'all. Things are getting desperate. Synergy ability. United refocus. Uh, I'd rather wait. I'd rather do damage. My turn. these things before they curse me again. Mm. 
Max Ungar. It's the only chance to kill multiple ones of there. Okay, I think I got them all. Oh shit, I got them all. Uh, but I still can't use... Need to heal. Okay, things are going exceptionally well now. I, I'm willing to possibly risk jinxing myself. Oh no. I, why did I say that? Why, why did I say that? Uh, okay, Red 13 use ability before I can do that. Let me heal, but shit, I still I can't use items. Also, thank you for this $2 super achievement. Uh, hold up. You gotta, like, concentrate. Hit him with the good shit. Catastrophe. Max Ungar. We did it. Uh, FYI, a lot of side content opens up in chapter 12. Hmm, well, we've had plenty of side content already, but I'll take more. And I did it without you know, doing the cheap shit chat. No throwing potions on him. Form evanescent, rancor everlasting. First try, exactly. Well done. This You've house is quite cleansed. A formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> oh, oh. I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> hmm. Let us consult Sad puppy with face. one more qualified. <clears throat> Alright, well done. Well done, Chad. I couldn't have done it without you. What? I Barrett is almost dead, though. Phoenix Downs only stun him in Rebirth. Uh, uh, I, I'm fine with that. They've kind of... It's been a while since you could just throw a Phoenix Down on Undead Enemy and kill them. I think they stopped that after 9. I wish you would have tried the Phoenix Down. Yeah, I'm good. I had to prove my... Someone said I wasn't a gamer earlier. I needed to prove it. You could use a phoenix down in 10, uh, on an enemy? Were there any undead enemies in 10? Other than, like, the old, uh, the old, the unsent. So I don't think you could use phoenix downs on them. Oh, damn, this scene. The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Simba, I mean, Nanaki. Wait, is that Seto, my father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone, and there he has stood ever since. His watch eternal. Our savior. Let's get bonking. What's up, Lucky? What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. Why, of course she And why didn't anyone tell you that your father wasn't a coward, though? It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to seal off the cave. Throw a gold needle on him? Why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. That is your a horrible reason. Your to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. 
you, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore. Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And you know, with this guy's eyes being clearly cataracts, you'd think here. wearing sunglasses, especially at night, would be the last thing he would do. <laughs> He's probably having a hard time seeing as it is. Why, this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the veil once more. But I'm a watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Lama Ki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have... Wait, where'd the rest of them come from? I believe you've seen it all. And no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. And just I, blind from the looks of them. I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Don't be a boomer like me. Don't worry. We will. Uh, hey, Steven, thank you for the $5 super chat. They could have at least explained that his dad wasn't a coward, that he wasn't ready to... Yeah, there's other things they could have said that wouldn't have had him hating his father his entire life until now. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our veil. Parrot's getting worked up. Huh? Hearken unto me. Pardon me? <laughs> Who are the frick are you? My name is Guy Natak. Seto, I beseech you once more, hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki, and you, the Setra. Come with me. This is entirely new, by the way. This guy was not in the original game. But hey, I guess we get an explanation for the Gino. That was. Oh, an exciting Don't finish Cosmo Canyon, get indeed. finished by it, huh? We'll back you up for two thousand. Uh Join the party, Cloud. <laughs> no. This one's free. So the Whispers just give up at this point? No, they act, the, the Whispers were like having a civil war. Half of them work for Sephiroth, half of them work for the planet. Please. 
please look after Nanaki for us. Blessings of the planet be upon you all. We will escort fellow Bugenhagen back home. Take care, friends. Within that peace flesh is a tumult of emotion. See to it that Nanaki remains safe. Oh, 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 oh. Our world is filled with wonders. The ghosts I have enough sentience to choose out. who they work for. Apparently, they, they do know. They're fangirls of Sephiroth, exactly. Like, he's just so dreamy. Ugh. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared of my wits here. I don't know. This gi dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. Chad, I just realized I'm making the NPC do the thing that usually NPCs make us do, which is like run a few steps ahead and then stop and let them catch back up <laughs> during one of these sequences. <laughs> Yubi just can't decide if she wants to run or stop moving. <laughs> it's kind of fun to turn the tables on a video game for once. Is this force walking? No, I was doing because it, it was funny. Oh, we got regular River of the Dead, huh? He was in the original, but was just What's monsters. Yeah, they were just like tribe of bad guys. You can count me out. How strange you should mention materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> okay, all aboard. One of these days she's gonna get paid materia, it's gonna be some like crappy materia that she doesn't want. It's like, oh this is morph materia. Hey, I didn't want that. Green water. I'm pretty sure it's Mako. Barrett almost capsizes every boat he gets in. I've stayed longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. I gave you do anything, pay her in base cure. Maybe try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because you mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears, in due time, reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Pardon? Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. So the Cetra of a racist you don't talk no. of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. Your internet is acting up. Hey, mine did it last night. Why they buddy buddy with the gi? Well, this guy's been dead for a while, so he's here to like explain the things so to us. I he's just bored, you know. On the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Speaking of possibly Thinking, dead people, this is it. This is how it ends. Only it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. 
tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Oh, he was saved by the white whispers? <laughs> and taken to a different place? Interesting. Hmm. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm feeling every single bullet. You're confused, you're meant to be. One minute, I'm outnumbered. And the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. Does it mean Jesse could be alive? I, I don't know. To beat the Possibly. We, we haven't seen her yet. Alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Why does Biggs look like the Giga Chad guy now? He does it. <laughs> At all. Hey. Come with me. You're thinking of Dio. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it Maybe the whole whispers are rebelling against the plot, that so they sided with the planet. About the I mean, the whispers oh, were, in some ways, the just like hardcore fans in the original game, like stand-ins for them. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. Send a chopper for us. Hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A zack of all trades. Why? Hold up a second. I just realized something. This, this, uh, Wedge is talking about his adventures with Cloud back in Midgar. But to this Zack, those adventures wouldn't make any sense because Cloud has been with him for in three years in, like, Nibelheim, like, make Mako tank. And they just, they just recently got here. Zack should be like, what the hell are you talking about? Because <laughs> one's not enough. The top of the I don't think about it. How am I supposed to take my mind? It's just one thing. So this is also the world where there's like a big rift in the sky too. Get a load of this. Does Zach know about the ghosts? Not technically. He doesn't really know anything that's going on right now. Let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks who will risk it all. Did you notice the fruit poster Wait, on that board as well, chat? Going. The Benora White. The things I do for friends. Remember finding those in, like, Zack's game? Heroes don't need brains. Yeah, they they get by on plot, you'll, you'll, plot armor. Hey, 
Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. I exist or for an emo version of myself time. to be the hero of an actual game. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I While pretending to be me. A lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all Shouldn't this time I've been getting. Something out, right? I mean, they got her. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah? Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? Yeah, here we go. Before we hit Reactor 1. So, uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal These clock's days, busted. Every time yeah, I sleep, mine too. I dream about all the things oh, they I just like, oh, I don't remember time very well. Good question. Nary a word about Gak. The less said about the band, the better. Uh, 499 Super Chat from Steven. White Whispers, Aerith, Love, Live Fanfic Writers versus Black Whispers. Sephiroth Fangirls and OGFF7 Purists. That's the canon and you can't prove me wrong. Well, they have to stand in for someone, right? Hey, wait a minute. This is the photo guy that I'm always like, well, no, a different photo guy. Hmm. I'm looking for like, this is this where we used to meet Chadley, by the way. Good times we had here in all of his VR games. You know, I always forget my raid MSG. Hey, no worries. How you doing, Rinzi? Suits me much better. Yeah. Gotta go for a bit. I'll return then. Hey, we'll be here, Silence. Doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm a hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Cause someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. Then who might that be? Uh, whoever brought you back, I guess. And assuming there was someone, who you were the could guy it have with been? Aerith, right? That's a good question. Is there anything we can do to help? Uh, love you, Dargan. Got more matcha this morning. Yeah, me. Matcha, you say? Pretty good stuff. Wind dirge of Seabra stream. I've never played that game. I've heard it's pretty terrible. Any lurkers in chat? There are always lurkers. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of moron We're going to join a party with Kyrie and Wedge, is that what I'm getting at? But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. Why so toxic? <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been safe for How was she here? This is like a different timeline. Higher purpose. He's Biggs. Oh, well, I forget Sorry their names often. Wasting your time. Or like, which one is which? Become a terrorist for the children. Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's got to be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. Listen to the main character you know, talk. What matters most of all when the going gets tough? I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> Teach him how to do squats, Zach. The world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. 
timelines. Wait, I, I have Think no idea yet. I'm trying not to speculate on it in case I get it right and someone guess he nailed it. I'd rather be surprised guess I if the game even answers it. Too. So, all right now, I'm just working off it's like a different timeline hmm. where Zach lived. Oh. Zach, such a cute puppy. Maybe reunion as timelines merging. That was a speculation people have had. How are the flowers doing over here, by the way? Not good, <laughs> from the looks of things. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit, too. Oh, yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww! Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. Kid boy, VOA doing a solid job. Yeah, they do all right. It's me. Question: Who's like wiping Cloud's ass when he's in this car? That was you, <laughs> no, don't answer it? that. Hello in there. of the gi. Do they just live underground? Day three of asking burger or grilled cheese? Burger. But I don't mind a grilled cheese either. So both. Man, we really gotta get her drama mean. I, it's so weird. You still you arrive at like this underground village of the dam. You still find vending machines. Uh. See ya. Welcome to the village of the Gi. Wouldn't want to be ya. All right. I remember I took something off Yuffie. I need to put back on. It was the uh, this or yeah, instant death. Uh, we'll just put time materia back on red thirteen. And I'm not gonna be. Uh, we've already used red thirteen for his section, so we'll switch him out. Or you know what? We gotta get some stuff learned with Kate Sith. Now chat's giving Cloud a diaper fetish. <laughs> really, no. Mm, might actually put Barrett in the party because I still got to learn a, an ability with him as well.
That's how chat rolls. Give everyone weird fetishes. That is, that's our, that's our, what do you expect us to do, Dardigan? Ceremonial staff. All right. Conjure a ward. Fill ATB charges within the ward to increase your ally's ATB gauges. Activate the effect of the ward one time only while ward is on the field. Should know you all by now. I do, but I still have to pretend you know, feign surprise. Like, how could you have done this? I thought I'd trade you all so much better. So, Argent, Argent Skies, thank you for the 40 months you've been subscribed. Been trying to avoid spoilers for the new FF, but just wanted to pop in really quickly and say hi. Well, you're getting a menu screen, so you're avoiding any possible spoilers. And uh, thank you for the sub. Hopefully I'll be able to like stream something you know relatively soon that you won't have to worry about spoilers. Hope you're enjoying the game too. Exercise us all. Well, alright, start doing those squats like Zach does. Uh I think I'll hold off spin. We need more points. More points. such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you, and only imagine how tough that's Yeah, been. but what did you do to deserve that? My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. No, Chadley, you say that, we'll find a Chadley down here. They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? Asking the real philosophical questions tonight. Till the materia is ours. You and me both. He adapted the opening of Mark Antony's speech? Hmm. like Genova or not of this world. I don't know. We're, I'm not really sure how they could be here if they were not, if they're not a light stream, since everything else is. Except for, you know, Genova. Well, I guess we'll find out.
Moogle Kaboom. Turn your Moogle. Yeah, we gotta do this first. Just kill, what, get, where'd my Moogle go? Did it kill my Moogle that quick? You gotta, oh, I see. You gotta like make it like do something. Okay, you gotta make it explode. All right, I can do that. Sorry, I'm just learning abilities right now, so I'm playing like shit. I had to like focus on that for a minute. Might as well use those. Catchy being the voice of reason. <laughs> you know what? He's it's almost like he's not, you know, like what he looks like. Do you ever wonder if you if you live in a place like this if you can tell if you're the bad guy or not or maybe you're just like so steeped in the culture it just seems normal to you? Girl, it's entered a weird space and time. Forever more. Okay, I think I have a suspicion of what they're gonna like make the gi the ones have okay, I think I know now. I have a you know the black materia. They're like giving you lore for its creation. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I would never have thought of that. Sounds like a cult to me, well might as well be if you're gonna dress you'll put your stuff up like this. That worked pretty well. Perfect timing. At least they are seems to have a. Uh, at least they are seem to have fun here. Maybe. Uh, oh crap! Materia piece. I mean, yeah. There's only one materia that could be. So, like I said, I, I'm done for this. Like whatever they're trying with that. Seems interesting. All right, let's heal up. I have so many abilities I gotta master right now. Actually, we just mastered Barrett, so we can move him out of the party now. Put Aerith in. They really changed up the music for the sequel too, right? If you notice. 
Like the first one was just like, let's like have like bombastic versions of all the old soundtrack. But this one is like, what if we just have like tons and tons of new music that wasn't even the original? Like this tune. So they're kind of really like developing and expanding on the soundtrack. Good job blending the themes together for each character. Yeah, you're right. Background reminds me of Monty Python when the monks would hit themselves. <laughs> but what Dart doesn't know is that Chadley is really the materia to surpass the black materia, <laughs> the gray materia. You know what? I would not be surprised if they had Chadley do something exactly like that, create some kind of like incredible piece. Here, actually, I can already predict it when you. When you get the huge materia in the next game, Chadley will be involved with it, and somehow he'll be the one synthesizing like the materia that comes out of the, you know, the huge materia. Nihilistic, don't you think? We wish to unalive ourselves. People can be nihilistic when they're this is before they were dead, I think. Well, technically, they just weren't allowed to ever die, so they were, like, in a living, like, spirit hell. I don't know. Hard to say. Hmm. Looks like most of them have turned to stone. Game writers are trying very hard not to say darkness. They say that word is, like, only allowed to be said in Kingdom Hearts. to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. A little late for that. What do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, pure as the material mind, with pain and spite they lack. Steeped in our one desire, pure as the material no more. That sounds like a great gift for me, Cloud, don't you think? <laughs> Love it for my birthday. Whatever that <laughs> materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. I no heard that. We can let this go. But for now, we play along. This is how I imagine like Majora's Mask was probably created as well. 
<laughs> when you actually think about it, the Black Materia and Majora's Mask, one of the same with what they do. Hmm? Hmm? Think about that. I'm tapping my fingers on my temples. Like, just, I just said a smart thing, alright? Second time. Show me what you can do. Dead. I really need to put. I need to remember to put a rise on Aerith. We gotta put that on Barret. Okay, There's another damn sorcerer here. Shit. Sure. I think he's a cactar. Ow. Dude be zooming, chat. Uh, let's see. I need to do some, like, management real quick. Because I believe Kate Sith can now have a better piece of uh, weapon on. Yeah, he mastered that. We can put Crystal Megaphone on him and get some Materia back on him. Uh, reduces damage taken by Moogle. Reduces luck. Yes. I guess we'll get rid of her fire materia. It's more important for her to have that. Uh, you say smart things all the time, do I? <laughs> I say them occasionally. Don't I have like... Okay, yeah, I'm good actually. Everything's good. 
Golden even. Jesus Domine Dona East Requiem. <laughs> Are we quoting Resident Evil now? Or something Those else? Not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the Good morning, what's up, guy? existence. And now. Our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. You're not gonna rip my heart out and toss me in a volcano, are you? I'm getting real Temple of Doom vibes from this place. Shrine to Oblivion. Oh, this guy loves Todd Howard then. of materia a most sacred treasure and imbued it with our desire for freedom after an eternity the materia began to stir and thus did we rejoice knowing that salvation was within our grasp We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it. The black materia, key to our oblivion. Could it Zach live as a previous Please. game T? Seems like it. It alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover. In redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may Look, we're being us let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least... I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <laughs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Been discovered. Cetra sounds like the bad guy. They stole a materia from the Gi that would destroy the world and keep them from using it. Because they were like I nihilistic suicide guess we're cult. Back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait.
good stuff. All right, that was an interesting little uh, addition to the plot. Like, uh, like I was saying before, the Gi were just like... Yeah, there were some enemies that you had to defeat in this cave, and that was it. So they completely like reintroduced them into the plot in a much bigger way. Made them the creators of the Black Materia. So that, that, I kind of like that change. It's good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. I'm going to play the first in the meanest way. Give Barrett steel and mug. Treat everyone like shit except Varys. Oh, I see what you're going with there. Fortunately, you don't get a choice in how you treat characters. Called it their salvation Hold on a second here. But to me, there was an elevator right to the end like of this place the entire time. Why do we have to trudge through it? Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Like Bugenhagen has made a go from the very Suffer. beginning of the cave when we could have just take an elevator down. No. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my Materia! The ruins refuse to let you do it all, of course. I'd rather explain that they just built the elevator while we were going. It's brand new. some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, we should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They said any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. Shinra terminal in Cosmo Canyon. Seems suspicious. Mogs are assholes for doing this all the time and final what? The Moogles? Yeah, they're terrible in this game. They throw shit at you. Banana pills, bombs, destructo discs, all because you're trying to get them back into their house. Doesn't Keith Sith fight or is he just a teen? No, he fights. I was controlling him a minute ago. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh... What did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say. Though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more... practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Well, Maybe they worship the life stream, right? Such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, Texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. We're in Shakespeare now, are we? However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you. However, well Got hidden. a split. Iris, have a good night. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen. What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? 
Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Hmm. Yeah. He got a boulder under that forearm sleeve. Well, he's riding on one. Uh, he missed a cat joke moment. Mew Mew have got tabby kitten. Me? What? What? When Cat Kate said was doing something? Traversing the settlement, speak with one of the guides and they will escort you to various locations around the settlement. A privileged service offered only to guests of fellow Bugenhagen. I'm good. It's not that big of a place. If I ever met you, I would make you my voicemail greeting. <laughs> like, hey, you're speaking to, like, yo, know, this lady or something like that. Do people actually still use voicemail, though? I don't think I've ever left a voicemail in my life. I'm assuming if it's like a professional stuff or like, you know, job related, maybe you have to, but if I just, if I actually like call someone and I don't get like a response, I'm like, I ain't leaving a message. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just vibing to the music. Had two recently for a part, uh, hunting man? Well, for apartment hunting. Uh, yeah, like I said, for certain things, I guess you kind of have to, because, you know, but I don't know. In normal use, I've never just had to use one. Yeah, how do I get over there? Oh, I just do that. Commissions where actors, actresses talk for a minute or money. Eh, I do that kind of shit for free. Or just take something I say during a stream and like, yeah, that's my voicemail now. Then again, the, given the stuff I say during streams, you probably wouldn't want that answering your phone for you. you imagine that you ring someone up and like, I'm talking about feet. <laughs> That's your voicemail. It's like, you know what, feet? You know what? Not so bad. I can see the appeal. Heart would be so happy. What about the feet thing? Would you use your clips to answer your voice messages? Uh, you know what? Like I said, I, I don't have a voice message you know, recorded for myself and probably never will. But I would definitely make it odd and weird. Just on the off chance someone actually ever uses it. You'd be surprised, Dart. What about the feet? All right, I'm gonna release a pack of like uh, feet relate uh, other weird you know, voicemail messages anyone can use. Oh, he ain't looking too good. Nanaki, is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nibu. I... Nibu. I... I'm here to tell you where to Nibu. go next. Ain't that... Pratifa and I grew up. Ah, oh, of course. Nibelheim has a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember what you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm going to prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. Hmm. We should go. Hey! Wait. <laughs> You're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. Yeah, we got a plane service. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then. Back to the airstrip we go. Okay, we're not gonna head to Nibelheim just yet. Of course. Oh. Proto-relic energy signature confirmed. And relatively 
close to you. While the signal is on Hi, the Chad Lee. side, it may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates How right away. How you been away. doing? Please do, Dorgan. We'll use it, what, the voicemail stuff? All right, we're, we'll definitely do the proto relic thing, but we also have side quests to do. <clears throat> but uh, we will definitely finish up Cosmo Canyon tonight, is the plan. Uh, let me check the... Yeah, let me go check the board back here for side quests. Moo after the beep. You guys just want to alienate everyone you know by having me voice your, your weirdo... <laughs> Uh, voicemails. Why doesn't he just send you a text? Good question. Yo, we need to teach Chadley to, like, talk to me when I'm passing him instead of phoning me up. Or send a text message. Hey, okay, hero for hire. The Skywatchers. Portents of Calamitous Ruin have been sighted in the, the Vale of Late Dreadful Fiends. The very present herald's doom, but all is not lost yet lost. For in times past, we have observed celestial phenomena indicative of the great mother's triumph over such forces. We request assistance with spotting and photographing said phenomena. Seek out the mentor Caesar for more information. It's been entirely too long since I've done some old fashioned field work, and I'd like to correct that. Unfortunately, I seem to have misplaced my tools. Have you heard of the High Elves? Checking vitals. Careful when traveling along the roads. The Daedra are out of us. Charlie, do you have to give me a paragraph every time I just want to see your menu? Shut up. Just shut up, would you? Okay, I don't have enough research points to make any of this. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. I'm sure you don't. Okay. Okay, we have not been over here. Or have we? Well, oh, that's Bugenhagen. He can keep the sock garters, though. Very bold choice. Yeah, he dresses? I don't know what he's dressing. Who taught him to dress? It had to have been Hojo, right? Like, you will dress in the most, like, well... I'm not sure what he intended, you know, Chadley for. I don't think it was, like, research. You did lime wire? That doesn't even exist anymore, does it? To be all honest, it looks like Naz Youth. Lots of German influence in this one. Well, he has an armband, doesn't he? Up here we go. Crap, it's still further up. We'll get this one over here. Nanaki's companions, yes? Forgive me, I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar, one of the canyon's mentors. Now then... Also, Fallout, your, your new question. Vegas villain. Rather vile fiends have been sighted in the Vale. Ones believed to be portents of calamitous ruin. Really? The creatures have been observed on many occasions in times long since past. But how, Polygar, how you doing, man? Has our planet risen to the challenge, brought her might to bear, and staved off disaster. It is through this unique celestial event that the planet provides us with proof of her victory. As you can see from these photographs, once the cataclysm has been averted, 
and our world stands triumphant. Gloriously resplendent comets grace the heavens. Hmm. I don't see anything like that around here. Aerith, it's daytime. You can't see stars. Though it should be said that none of these pictures were taken close by, but rather far from our current location. Perhaps that being said, they're stars. You don't need to be close by. Here. They're going to be visible the in the night sky regardless. Have left their marks in the skies elsewhere. Look at this photo. You bastard. I was thinking of like Nickelback. As if you'd ever take no for an answer. Like, for in, like look Surely, at this photograph. Do this for us? Every time I it do, it makes me laugh. Our shoulders were you to find them. If you are serious, I suggest visiting the three locations in which the fiends were last seen. The signs we seek may show themselves there. Here, use these reference materials and this recording instrument. Photograph the comets you spot, though try to ensure your pictures match ours. Blessings of the planet be upon you. And now he's going to speak to get Bugenhagen's quest. Look at this graph. There's also one based on Instagram. Look at this Instagram. Started out as a lemon tart. Uh, has MooTube said Choco Moo Quepo yet? Mike, do I need a translator for you? I feel like I almost, I'm at the point where I just need a translator. Next side quest. Uh, I would need to go up further, I believe. Oh, yeah, I can just fast travel around here. I just forgot about it. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Oh, come now. Blessings of the planet be Everyone accuses Valdez of the worst thing, of the of worst guidance. possible things. Uh, planet Cosmo Observatory? Yeah, I think that's it. Sing for us? I've been humming. I feel like that's all I got in me tonight. And I just tried to sing Eel Nickelback a minute ago. It's not a good sign. If you ask me to sing, it's going to be like the worst bands possible. <laughs> Cut my life into pieces. Something like that. Uh, what are you doing? Nothing much. Sing you some Creed. What if I... That's all I know about Creed. At the moment, I'm trying to hunt down my tools. I must have buried them awfully well. Black hole sun. I've seen I've seen that quite a few times. Black hole sun. Yeah, you know. come. Wash away my pain. The very picture of hell. Black hole sun. Would you come? Would you come? See what I mean? Just swallow your pride and let us take care of whatever it is. You stay and rest. Well, I suppose I should take you up on the offer while you're still here. Very well. I'll let you assist me. Good. Now, lay it on us. <laughs> In truth, something has been troubling me as of late. Take a look at this field report from my previous survey of the life springs in our local region. Are you sure this is accurate? It was at one point. But life springs are mutable. They rarely remain in one location for long. Indeed, such events move periodically. Nothing unusual about that in the least. However, it is not their positions which trouble me. Rather, what the survey team has reported. Perhaps this fact-finding expedition of ours will clear things up. I would have you visit this site first. Yeah. These the these site quests here in Cosmo Canyon are sounding a little tedious. Alright, we'll do. 
Press the View Bugenhagen's field report when then use L1 to examine the document more closely and locate the Lifespan Survey location. Alright, I think we can now leave Cosmo Canyon. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Do do the verb pipe with the song photograph. Okay, so the proto relic quest takes priority since we've been working on that one the entire game. So we're gonna focus on that first. Time for me to start a new recording, though. I've been on this one for a while tonight. Oh, but uh, I do want to like leave for Nibelheim tonight by the end of it. Uh, on the last day of the rest of my life. <laughs> I've got all of chat speaking in, like, song lyrics now. In fact, maybe we should make that a thing. Chat, you are now, for the next five minutes, only allowed to speak in either chat by using song lyrics. Try to make it as, you know, make sense, though. We have standards to keep, after all. Alright, so, where are we headed? We're headed down here. We have Proto Relic. And side quest and proto relic and everything else. Let's talk about sex. But okay, you're starting things off right. I, I would personally go with like you and me, baby. Ain't nothing but mammals. So let's do it. This is gonna turn in like an MTV chat at this rate. Do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> Reach that fan. Or that one. kind of need to get over there. <laughs> mm, what's MTV? I know it's hard to like imagine it, but there's going to be, there's very soon, if not already, people who don't know what that is, even though MTV still exists. Like, you just turned the channel, like, what is it, 19? Or they, like, gone to streaming services, too? I see you're approaching the signal. The source appears to be somewhere in the canyon's ruins. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what, what, what were you saying, something, Yuffie? My precious material, where are you? No need to be shy, come out. Yuffie's gonna take you home. You were typing stupid lyrics in the YouTube chat? Well, I keep doing it. You're only following my requests, you know. Does this count as like a okay, photo relic thing? No. This is something else. We don't know what this is for yet. Have you heard of uh, I Just Had Sex song? Yes. Oh, wait. It's these three. Yuffie. Niall, Hulk, Billy Bob. What are they doing out here? It's so good to see you. Wait, what about you the fourth too? one? We were worried you might not have made it out in time. Nothing can kill this bloom. 
clearly. Hmm? Say, where's Sonon? Um... Here. Hey, you did. you three! <gasps> the Splinter Cell. Well, where are my manners? These guys are from Avalanche HQ. They're the ones who helped me out back in Midgar. And I don't think they need an introduction. Y'all were at the Shinra building, weren't you? Tell me. Was Wed with you? Or did you see him? <sighs> if you can tell me anything, anything at all, please. Wedge, he... I'm sorry. Don't be. Just... I need to know. Oh. Why has this led to a side quest instead of like... After the Sector 7 plate fell, the things we saw and heard... All the carnage... It was... Hell. We wanted to help. We really did. But how? It all seemed so hopeless. That's when the call came. From the folks at Avalanche HQ. We learned it was the company that dropped the plate. And that they were gonna drop another... Unless we stopped them. What? They were? HQ needed volunteers to help storm the Shinra building. This was our chance. We knew it was the right thing to do. All of us. Wedge and I ended up being assigned to the same truck. I wonder if we'll ever go to Avalanche HQ to meet all these guys. We'll infiltrate the building via the underground parking facility. From there, we make our way up, taking each and every floor. We've lost contact with Lucia's team. I think we have to assume... They can never stop with the fat That's jokes enough. with him, can they? He's eating a sandwich First, right now. We'll check in with man. Ha ha, fat man. Ha ha ha. Eats when even life is... Let me just scooch on over here. I'm Wedge with the splinter cell. Uh, Barrett's crew, right? <laughs> here, try one of these. It'll help you calm down. Thank you. Go on, eat up. <laughs> He's still alive? I'd probably not, consider this is a flashback. Yo, Dardigan, you need to know upstairs. before Crisis Lord understand. I played prison. before Crisis. Oh, well, wait. Oh, you, you oh, no, no. You mean the Avalanche that mobile that. game with the Turks, right? Oh, the they did the stairs? The rules changed. Uh, well, that'll help you lose, burn off the calories from the sandwich, man. Uh, but I know a little bit about the mobile game where you play as the Turks fighting, like, the more extremist avalanche. But I'm wondering if they'll, like, bring more of that into this game. Alright, we're almost there, boys. At long last, we're gonna take back our world. Find the bastards who stole it and send him to hell. Yeah. yeah. I've got friends up there who need to know we're coming. Oh, uh, sorry, but I didn't want them to get hurt, sir. <laughs> the mayor, Chet. Forgot about him. Go. I'll catch up. Ray. Random question, but which real life no, politician is the closest in terms of ideals of Senator Armstrong? Uh, well, he's really just an objectivist, really. So any Rand Randian like spouting motherfucker could sort of be him in terms of ideals. Guess he is dead. We couldn't believe it. It was him. Thank you. His 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 death was just delayed Damn as it all. 
Don't worry. Now Barrett's sad don't again. Go, Wait, what? Hold up. Hey, y'all heard that, right? That was weird. Barrett, those who pass on become one with the live stream. I know what you thought you heard, but it was probably just the wind. Let the sky fall when it crumbles. In times past, the Not a bad idea for like you have some lyrics now. Thanks to the life stream. There aren't many left, so we wanted to help preserve the few still standing. It felt like the least we could do, you know? For all those who return to the planet. That feels like they didn't know what to do with Wedge at that point in the game. So like, eh, he's a side quest and he died. <laughs> They should have showed know, that in the game instead of like waiting until now then instead of leaving it be a mystery. This region's main source of energy. And kind of like relief valves for the life stream. But when they're as busted as this one here, you can't even get close to do repairs. Mako's way too dense. Biggs is still alive, so yeah. And we well, apparently just Wedge and Jesse that died. Fix the funds remotely. Pardon? Thing is, the little guy's just too old. Probably better off in a junkyard than with us. Back to work, Polly. Have a good night, man. Perhaps I can be of service? Oh, God, Chadley. Robotics is one of my We're having a moment. Expertise. Meet Robot Chadley. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> or Robo Chad, if you prefer something abridged. At any rate, you should now have complete Robo -chad. control Robo Chad. Go on. Chad Bond. Weirdly, he probably sounds less robotic than Chandler does. <coughs> In Gears and Gambits, you must program robots with gambits and actions, then send them into battle with the aim of reaching the center of the spring and vanquishing the enemy leader. Emerging victorious will restore the planetary font. What? Like, there's another? Oh my god. How loaded is this game with minigames? I wasn't expecting you to get another new one. Chad, this game has almost got like a full version of Mario Party built into it at this point. Alright, so what is this like? Wait, is this like FF12 only with robots? Uh, three types of robots can be deployed, each operating in accordance with its gambits. Yep and actions which are programmed prior to the battle. Gambits determine a target, actions determine what the robot will do to that target. For the first battle, let's use the AI set by Chanley. Press to begin. Here's in Gambits, deploying a robot. Robots can be deployed from any of the three portals and will then move along with their lane toward the enemy leader in the center. Press X to view each available robot's gambits and actions. The triangle icons above a foe's HP gauge indicate its elemental weakness. Try to deploy robots that can exploit these vulnerabilities. Current robot's characteristics, type 1, effective against foes weak to ice. This is like Pikmin a little bit, isn't it? Effective against foes weak to fire. Type 3, effective against foes weak to lightning. At this point, we'd be getting these games every other year if it weren't for all these. Well, actually, I think that's the different. Actually, the different than what you're thinking. I think the reason they have so many mini games of this is because with remake, they already had the base game created. They just needed to create more of that. So instead of like changing that up too drastically, they created a bunch of mini games instead. It's like the combat system was only tweaked a bit here and there, so they just need new character models and new environments, and then like a few of the open world gameplay stuff. So they just spent a lot of time making mini games. Uh, okay. Pressing square allows you to view information on enemy units such as their gambits and actions. Same method can also be used to view your robot's remaining ability uses. Again, as you can see, pressing L2 and R2 switches between portals allows you to deploy robots into other lanes and outmaneuver the enemy. Three portals share an HP gauge shown in the bottom right. If it is reduced to zero, you will lose the battle.
You can access the special ability shared between your portals by... I do not understand this at all. <laughs> then select a specific skill to move the area of effect and X to activate it. Affected targets will be denoted by a visual effect. Note that you can only use each portal skill once, so think carefully about when is the best time to activate them. Store some HP, yes. Deploy the robot. The ATB gauge at the bottom left slowly fills, and once it has reached the required amount, you can deploy another robot. The ATB cost of each robot type varies according to its gambits and actions. Try deploying another unit once the ATB gauge is sufficiently full. Note that you can always assess enemies with square. All right. Anyone else picking this up? I think I'm doing well. I can see a YouTube ad advertising this. That is some of the, what the nature of a bunch of minigames. Uh, remember, you must defeat the enemy leader within the allotted time. Okay, let's just spam everything out then. Uh, li like your robot, some foes have advanced actions of their own. Such enemies will be designated by a one so make sure to assess them with square to avoid triggering their advanced action. Okay. Uh, what? Okay, they get a barrier if they have four robots in a lane targeting them. Okay. Not enough gotcha. There's never enough gotcha, is there? Kill, kill the freaking slime already. We're almost done. We've got a minute and ten seconds left. It's basically, it's pretty simple actually. Not enough. So, pretends to know. Welcome uh, to the membership on YouTube. Hope you enjoy those emotes there. Uh, okay, we won. Or we're just about to win. So, this is like a second version of a tower defense game almost in this game. They got two different tower defense games in this now. What a thrill. Snake eater. Uh, let's see. Uh, I like that train in my brain. I, you guys are still going with the, the music quotes, and I love you for it. You've kept it up this long. What do the portal skills do? They allow you to use a spell on each lane. Wow. It's a shame the others ain't here to see this. Who says they're not? What's that? 
I believe that light will lead us to another set of ruins. <laughs> and another font to fix too, I'll bet. Is it okay if we tag along? Sure, why not? Whatever beef I've got with you, H Yo, why is Red 13 like backing it up into Yuffie priority. over there? Okay. Yeah, I can head there. Like those those two are always doing weird shit in cutscenes in the background. <laughs> You know what? You don't want a lab dance in Red 13. That tail is going to set something on fire. Uh, alright, so... Next Proto Relic was up here. Barrett is not lecturing HQ kids. Uh, he was more worried about you know, finding out what happened to Wedge. Send in Robo Chad. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was the HQ kids who like, uh, the, were considered Barrett the extremist. He probably didn't have a problem with them. Red 13 is 15 years old in human years, so he could date Yuffie. Why? Why? Why did you? Why did you write that? And why did I read it? Why didn't I stop myself? Even though he is like 40, we're not doing the whole 200-year-old dragon thing tonight. All right, we ain't doing it. You can now program your robots with gambits and actions. Gambits determine a target. Actions determine what the robot will do to that target. To enhance your chances of victory, reference the information on enemy units before programming your robots, which can be done with X. You can also auto-program your robots if a stage is giving you trouble. As Charlie proceeds with his research, more gambits and actions will become available. Okay. Set recommended AI. Selecting the option will automatically help your robots with one of the AI optimized for this stage. Yeah, sure. I do not really care. I'm not going to get that deep into this. I, I've already learned how to play Queen's Blood. I'm good. Uh, commence the battle. do more damage. They made this so complicated that they had to include automated strategy. Uh, yeah, it, they basically were a little bit inspired by FF12, it seems. Alright, so four robots. Oh, we don't want more than four robots in a lane targeting this thing, so we got three on it already. She looks like one of those rap guy's girlfriends. <laughs> How long have you guys been keeping this demand up? Because I am seriously impressed. It's been going on for like 30 or so minutes now. What's up, Goofies? You're back. You're just in time to learn about a new minigame in this Apex. 
Hey, you guys doing all right? Hey, you're doing right. You're doing fine. Oops, I sent the wrong one out. Uh, we are going to use Comet because there's three of these bastards. I was hoping to heal that before he killed all of them. But alright. It's alright. I'm not used to YouTube's format. I mean, it's not really that different <coughs> from Twitch. It's just a scrolling text feed. They've essentially actually copied a lot of YouTube, uh, Twitch. Hurry, kill. <laughs> but hey, the YouTube stuff has been going pretty well, actually. So I've been pretty pleased with it. Forfeit the game, I won. Once upon a time, I was falling in love, but now I'm only falling apart. There's nothing we left to do. About coming Total out to eclipse see the game of the heart. That night at the bar, remember? Yeah. You guys were trying some new cocktails for me. Yeah, this is the one. Bartender, whip me up another Costa del Sol. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Drunk, Jesse. <laughs> I'm cutting you off. <laughs> Come on, one more couldn't hurt. Now me, I'm a Cosmo Canyon guy. Mm, that one was pretty good, but it was missing that special flourish. Guess what I got? Huh? Ta-da! Cosmo Salt! Can't call it a Cosmo Canyon It's just pink salt like Himalayan salt right? where they overcharge Trust you for it. Me, a dash of this will make all the difference. What's Cosmo about it? It's mined from the canyon itself, the birthplace of planetology, and pretty hard to come by, I'll have you know. Oh my god. That cell's gotta be laced with something. Wow! <laughs> You're right! Wow! It's like a whole new drink. Man, it's too bad the stuff is so hard to come by. If only I had more. I thought you might say that. But a whole he was too good for this world chat. And he even bought her like the grinders. You don't really need to buy the grinders with it, I just so you're aware. You can buy like a package and then put it into grinders once you run out. Unless it's sold like that. We could all bring back as much salt <coughs> as we could carry. What do you say? Count me in. Home of planetology, here we come. It's gonna be great. Oh, really? Huh? Y'all think we got money to be taking field trips? Because our books say otherwise. Here. We gotta go. <laughs> there you have it. The boss himself. Who was in Paris? Who was in Paris? To our generous leader. <laughs> to to Paris. Paris. You know, I'm glad they managed to do something with this team again. Even if it's just a flashback. <laughs> Look, guys, we made it. Would have liked to have gotten here sooner, but. Wait, you fixed it already? Ages ago, slow folks. Come on, double time. Coming. Chadley, don't ruin the moment. Okay. 
We trade all the mini games to get wedge back. And him and his salt. There was apparently a thriving salt industry here. Back before everything went to hell with the fall of the Republic. Wait, salt comes from the sea, right? Does that mean this whole place used to be underwater? Wow. The planet's just full of surprises. Seeing these ruins, I can't help wondering what this place must have looked like when it was first built. Never imagined I'd get this invested, but here we are. This is now a musical stream chat with the amount of like... I think there's probably at least a dozen songs currently going in chat. It's kind of hard to keep track of which one is which at this point. Alright, uh, next proto relic quest down here? Yeah, I think I've... Actually, just up from the one we did. Uh, I think it's on top of the mesa, though. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to, like, get on top of it. So, we'll go back this way and probably come up to it. Sea strife in a wheelchair. Sea strife in a wheelchair. <laughs> Seriously, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna inject some like proper YouTube music into this you know this this debate. Chocolate rain. Some stay hot, the others feel. See, I got the voice for that song, <laughs> badly. Chocolate rain. That was like a for like a week. Everyone was like crazy about that. Then they realized how cringy it was, and they stopped. And also, I didn't like that song because my friends kept making fun of me because I sounded like me. But chocolate, and they like, do the song, Dart. I'm like, no. Stupid. Started using iodized sea salt and blay. Good on you. Use Always use a grinder. You get better, like, salt and pepper out of it. But, uh... I, I have iodized salt for when I'm cooking stuff, but I also have like a few other types of salt because sometimes you want, you know, variety. Okay, we still love you as long as I'm still appreciated here. That's all that really matters. I mean, I, I do a much better version of like Black Hole Sun, won't you come to wash away my pain? Black hole stood. Uh, this is not how I get up. This is not how I get up. Hmm. Assuming I gotta get there by using the wind currents. So maybe over here. Postmodern Jukebox is a killer cover of that song, Black Hole Song. It's one of those things I feel you could turn that into any genre of music. A crash boat over there? Every time you get it wrong, and it's wrong. I know, but I like singing it that way. It's because that's how I would hear it when I was a kid for some reason. So it's kind of how it's stuck in my memory. I know it's wrong, but it's just the way I'll go about it. It's the same when I do that, like, the numbers, Murph. That's not right either, but I, I still do, like, the numbers, Murph. Murph, the numbers. I need the numbers, Murph. Murph, I gotta save the world, Murph. <laughs> Oh, good old Matthew McConaughey. Thank you for representing my people. You love Black Hole Song? It's a good song. It's depressing as hell. Weird music video to it. Like, the entirety of the Black Hole Sun song, the music video of it, is just the, the band experimenting with, like, stretchy face filters. I need this new exciting technology awesome.
Okay, where am I? Okay, okay. I don't want to jump up yet. I need to like start making sure I get fast travel locations marked off on these locations. You think this is how the regular people of Cosmo Canyon get around? This suicidal mechanic? We gotta entertain ourselves, Ooh. Uncle Dart. Nickel... Nickel hike is a... Nibble hike is a long way away. Uh, I'm honestly, we could go there right now, but I just want to do the side quest. I like how you decide, you know what, it's Nickel hike now. I'm just kidding. Didn't they play that at the award show recently? I didn't realize I could get this much chat engagement just by telling chat, like, you know, you know, give me your favorite song lyrics. And you'd have so much fun for it. I need to remember this strategy. And also come up with ways to make it more difficult. What kind of bands Currently, do you think Chadley is into, Chad? Is in we haven't heard him talk Although about music much. They were built by the ancients, or others like them. Perhaps you could conduct an investigation of your own while looking for the transmuter chip. Daft Punk. Oh, that's nearby. You guys are assigning way too cool music for him to be into. Personally, I think I think Chadley'd be a freak. He's in like insane clown posse. Cloud, I've recently discovered a brand new musical group. They they're the most amusing gr group of jesters, dressing as clowns and encouraging me to come to the gathering. I've already bought my ticket. I'm down with the clown. What about you, Cloud? I do have to explain to them how magnets work, though. They seem confused. Chad, it, it, I want you all to know, chat, it is so unbelievably easy to write Chadley jokes. It Just on the cup, on the fly. They're, they practically write themselves at this point. There's a reason why I keep doing them. Bird, are we there yet? You've been leading me on a bit of a chase. I'm a creep. I'm a creep. Yeah, that's a good song, by the way. They hate that band. Hates that song, though. They because they despise it. That's the only thing. They're the only good song they. Have. They, they didn't like how popular it became. Uh, giving me the impression that Cloud is Chadley's only friend. 
I mean, it kind of feels that way. He doesn't talk to the other members of the party, if you notice. The only other person he's ever talked to is Yuffie. Everyone else just gets ignored by Chadley. Let's go up to the Mog House. We gotta do it. Might as well do it while we're here. Cloud, I want you to try this drink. It's called Fago. It's very sweet. Girl Chadley, well he he did make his like virtual waifu. I don't think she has a body, she exists only in VR though. But enter the mog stool. Intel will be gained regardless. You can add difficulty to these now? Okay, so you put me in normal. Moogles get you high, chat. Please bring back all the moogles. They produce a like hallucinogenic aroma. Okay, did it first run. <sighs> You're a lifesaver, Koopo. The other one I did in the previous region was way harder. This emporium is officially open, and it's all thanks to you. We sell Piote and Piote Lace products, Koopo. We've come so far, Koopo. I hope that you'll see it through. To your heart's content, Kubo. Uh, Tales of the Red Warrior. Alert scriptures. Power Mint. Hmm. into a design line where to avail themselves as magic. Uh, yeah, we'll buy that. Heroes don't need mugs. <laughs> Chat. I wonder what Barrett would think of someone like Snow. I know Barrett strikes me as like he'd be super annoyed and hate Snow's guts. After he like got everyone killed in his Over game here. after all. Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. Chocobo, you give love a bad Good choice, by the way. Why no one's put those lyrics into the into this chat yet? 
I'm on a chocobo, you're on a chocobo. Dun, da, 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 da. Keep your cool. It's on you. I'm coming. Yeah. Huh. Huh. You okay? Can you stop? I'm trying to do something here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's what that does. You gotta use a summon's ability for some when you put these that. That didn't summon the Liza. Re Re Kate Sith, you're so weird to use, man. So weird. Can't type the lyrics of the song I've been hearing lately since I've been hearing Aerostorm. We get some, uh, you know, you know psychosocial enchant. And the rain will drown us all. Pull our backs against the wall. I think this is the way I gotta leap off to get to this area over here. And this will take me across, but we gotta like grab a couple of vents to get over there. No, there's actually a vent in the middle, so we're good. Love Shack, baby. Ooh. I never really liked that band because they sounded so weird. And that guy looked so weird. Come on, make the landing. Make the landing. Yes. Didn't he have like a fake nose or something? Or am I thinking of a different band? making it to Nippelheim tonight. We could go there right now, but I'm doing like the side quest stuff here first. Where's the button? Humpity hump ya. I remember there's like a there's like a movie that they're in that I saw with a bunch of like really I cannot remember the name of that movie. It was so bizarre. I think it had Dan Aykroyd in it. No, it was a Dan I don't know. The former Ghostbuster in it. And a bunch of weird characters. And it had that doodle hump do hump guy in it. I don't know his name. I just know there's like a scene where they eat gross sausage. Was it Flintstones? No, it was not that. Do I remember the live action? I think that's the only thing of Flintstones I've ever really seen. I don't remember ever watching the cartoon as a kid. If I did, I don't, I don't recall watching it anyways. I do remember the the the, you know, the, you know, the Flintstones vitamin commercials, which is what I thought the Flintstones came from. I thought they came from the vitamins thing before they were a cartoon. <laughs> I honestly did. I thought, oh, it's the it's the vitamin people.
Chad, did you know that the Flintstones vitamin song was made by the same guy who made the Halo theme song? Like that was his start was making the vitamin theme song. Flintstones kids. And then he went on to make oh whatever it was. Yeah, Marty O'Donnell. He's now running for Congress, I think. What a career. Flintstones, Halo, Congress. Ooh, square triangle, X, X, square triangle. I mean, okay, circle triangle, X, X, circle triangle, X, X. Okay, circle triangle, X, X, circle triangle, X, X. Triangle, X, 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 X. Okay, I should be able to do this. Oh, fucked it up. It's the first time I've ever fucked this up. Circle triangle. <sighs> Put it in the wrong place. getting through Gungaga pretty quick. I mean, not Gungaga, Cosmo Canyon. Gungaga took forever. Thanks to you, Cloud, I was able to successfully extract data on the deity. All right, on to the other things that are here. We have memory lane to go down. Fucking hates me. Well, I have not thought of that song in a while. He fucking hates me. Oh, wow. That has been a while since I heard that one. A little bit of everything on this Mesa. We'll get we'll get the thing up here first, then come and get the chip. with a ball to, oh wow i can actually remember that ball with the ball the bang the dang diggy 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 said the boogie set up jump the boogie and i hate kid rock this is for the questions that will have any answers the midnight dance the, the the midnight something and the topless dances the g's the freaks the chicks with beepers the g's with the 40s okay i'm remember i'm not remembering every lyric understood that song. What does it mean? Is he actually singing about being blue?
Okay. Oh. I suddenly get buried inside stone at top of a building. Let us not forget that Kid Rock wrote as Moses Jones. Young ladies, young ladies, I like him underage. <laughs> See, some say that's statutory, but I say it's mandatory. And, you know, he's considered like a, you know, a salt of the earth country singer these days. Just goes to show you, chat, you can always reinvent yourself. We need some Weird Al in chat now. We haven't had any. I haven't seen any Weird Al, and it's we're a funny stream, all right. That means Weird Al. Yuppie sing the song again. It was I do that by getting on and off my chocobo. Trust me, she's done it many times. So I walk through the valley where I harvest that. There you go. That's the best one. You chose good. Where I harvest my grain. Oh yeah, I I I was I sung that song a lot in school. Mainly the opening line there. There you are. Well, well, y'all beat us to the punch for once. Not that it mattered. We still can't reach the font, and there's a weird fiend. Got any smart ideas? <laughs> Ask, and you shall receive. I've prepared an additional AI chip. It should allow you to progress further. Just mind the monsters. Behold, a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. It plays board games. I do that thing where I like tell the game to do it again for me. I kind of forgot. I guess it's already uh save load AI. There we go. Wait. No. Auto program. Okay, he's brought out lightning weakness. I'll take that.
one's like the first one that seems like it might be a little tough. Uh, I don't know what this one's weak to. Kill it already. Kill it. I gotta wait for this one to get a bit closer and I can use portal skill here. But you're attacking the wrong one. I need to let my ATB build up before I can do anything. We only got like a minute left in this fight, you know. It ain't exactly going as well. That's why I'm gonna, ooh, I can only use Regina now. Hmm, you only get to use those each one time, huh? Did he kill his own? Okay, oh no, he didn't kill his own. Uh... Be brave now. Hurry, you can kill it. It's weak. Shit. God, stop doing it. Do it. Come on. But, uh, uh, holy crap! Did we do it in like the last second? Whew. That's what happens when you disarm a bomb in a the movie. There's nothing like cutting it down to the last milliseconds, chat. You know what's depressing? All the hype for Invincibles was we straight up murdered by taking an unneeded. Yeah. This Four month break to, to try and replicate Man, The Walking Dead's really mid season dead break to try and build up hype. Just slowing you down. Uh I'll take your word for it. I'm not sure how they're I haven't watched that show.
Yeah. <laughs> that guy. If only he'd stuck to looking after his cats and enjoying good food. Let's go. Let's confirm the rest of it. Well, they confirmed Wedge died by falling off Shinra building. We actually saw it when we started this side quest. Uh, but, uh, wait, Biggs, Wedge, whichever one it is, the big guy. Uh, but the other one is, like, in, yo know, Zack's world. Didn't think the little guy would be able to take down Fiend so easily. But after seeing what he can do, I'm glad he's on our side. We're glad for the help, but it's starting to feel like we're the ones providing you support. Or trying to. I know my life has a purpose. But what? What if he fell off the Shinra building? Now was he with the mayor? Uh, if you remember at the end of the last scene of him in Remake was him being attacked by the whispers and being blown backwards toward a window. And that's how it displayed it, him falling off it. You know, we saw the end result of that. Alright. What are we doing next? Uh, since we're up here, we might as well grab these two things. And we want to come back to this mesa. Also, something, but there's another fight back here. And our next one is over there. We'll probably actually find the thing that gets us over there somewhere on this mesa as well. the ghosts well s half of them are now on our side and half or on the planet side anyways and the other half on Sephiroth's side it's kind of we're not really sure how that's working though I honestly didn't think they'd be bringing them back although they serve their purpose <laughs> rock the crater of I'm not familiar with that one Biggs is Charlie Sheen Wedge is cat guy it's not that hard D DL Emma. Look, it's funny that I can't remember, alright? It's also that I'm just not used to, you know, associating those two names with any character in particular for some weird reason. I'm not sure why. We're in dangerous territory now. Rare Golem variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Strictly speaking. Golems are not living creatures. Yeah, you think Their Biggs with the name Biggs would be the big guy. I think that's what's causing it. it Since they're always the making fat jokes about him. Them long ago with their unique technology. Though it remains unclear why they would have left their constructs in a place like this. We may never know the answer. After the disappearance of their masters, the golems fell into disrepair. Corrupted by impurities flowing through their life stream, they grew violent. Please put an end to their destructive rampage. For the sake of the locals, if nothing else. Right, we shave. Mike, have a good night, man. Thanks for being here. Okay, uh, autonomous dolls made of rare ore that abide in aired environments created by the Cetra long ago and imbued with impressive defensive abilities. They can detonate the earth and rocks around them. They lose energy every time the, they attack or take damage and become pressured once their energy is exhausted. They are weak to wind. Alright. Don't overdo it. Here goes. Okay, he's got a closer. Go on, cut. It's your turn. Leave it to me. Your turn now. Let's on you. So it's my turn. Oops. Let her go, Jesus. Did a number on Aerith. Deal with 
want that. All right, can I use arrow now, please? I not realize before that Aerith's dodge is practically worthless. It's your turn. Your turn now. Here goes. Can you take over for me? Didn't say it was weak to win. Her wind attacks did nothing to it. Two out of three, but you're drinking cognac. Put them in the song. Ooh, she wants to dance here tonight. Use her ready. I use her radiant ward a lot there too, but I wanted to use it weakness to pressure and stagger it. So I was trying to use like multi spell. Why does Chadley pretend that he's less annoying than Mai? Like, he's annoyed by her. You'd think he would, like, learn to wait. Cloud, is it by chance I am annoying as Mai as you, uh, to you as she is to me? I haven't yet... Con I, have, I have to ponder that. Some, some self-realization if he is a real boy and all. Alright, uh, we gotta go up here. Hmm. I'm gonna heal with this. Uh oh, ill omen. Twelve o'clock. Oh, what the fuck? Just suddenly, scorpion. Uh, dealing enough damage with ice magic attacks will pressure them. Following up with fire damage will leave them open to attacks so ice then fire. While pressure, they will become more susceptible to physical attacks. More okay, so ice, fire, then physical attacks. Weird. All right. Stop tearing Klaus balls off, please. You can do it. 
Using the phenomenon reported as a reference, try to recreate the planetologist's photographs with at least 80% accuracy through Caesar will accept any picture you offer. Press to view the reports and then press L1 to take a closer look. Once you have the right vantage point, pull out your camera with up and snap a shot. Alright. Yeah, this one. What do you think, chat? That looks about pretty right to me, right? Yeah, well, we need we need this little mountain right here in the shot. I think we got it. Touch more up. It's like 88%. Well, Have you well. ever dyed my hair? Maybe no. You add photographer to your Never dyed it. I've always been happy with my color, so I didn't really feel the need to. For other spots. Maybe that makes me boring, but I don't know. I was like, you know, I also I was always worried I'd like damage my hair if I like started dyeing it too much. Alright, so the next proto quest is over there, and then we also have more of this. And then Okay, that's the plane we can fly out on. Uh, let's see. Let me mark the proto quest thing so I can see it on my compass. Uh, you should look out for Outcast. You should look out for Outcast 2, the upcoming continuation of a great obscure game with a cliffhanger ending. Send it. Outcast 2. Uh, is that the. Eight? Wait, uh, I know about that game. I actually played the demo of it recently. Uh, I know about the original game too. I knew about it years ago. I never played it though. It's the one of the first. Oh, technically, maybe the first kind of open world game if you. If you fudge the numbers a little bit, but it's like guy on alien it's like uh old flash stories some adventure stories in space and shit is kind of what it's built off of i i know very little about it other than it was always it didn't look that great uh the demo i played was all rightish but i have a feeling i'd get bored with it very quickly uh but who knows maybe it'll be good we need to fly over that way we need to get up there Let me save my game. I guess I screw this up. Zelda and Metroid have open worlds, years. I don't really consider what Zelda does open world. It's just a big open, it's a zone, a big zone. Hell, I barely consider this open world. Honestly, when it comes to open world, there's only a few I would actually call truly open world games. Like what Rockstar does, that's like the standard for like open world, I think. Then you have stuff like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, definitely open world. Elden Ring open world as well. Alright, so we gotta fly. Am I looking at this right or is there something in that'll get me there easier? I'm pretty sure that will just take me across. 
And again, there is an elevator over there that should get me up to the top. I'm back. Got a lot of work on my project done. Hey, welcome back, Iris. I only hit my bench press to 200 and... 2010s pop music what do uh what do i do to remedy that uh a lot of people recommending using dooms music uh, a lot of people work out to that amongst other like video game it, you know minded music for some reason it just helps Correctly, it doesn't seem like it speeds things up that much. What do I work out to? I usually put on live streams, actually. I don't usually listen to music much when I'm working out. I usually will listen to, like, some people doing stuff or something. Like a podcast, a live stream, anything like that. stream by playing the song and video for steam it fits the themes of which the song and video for steam uh what for like a music video or something i don't want to do that because of copyright claim i i every chat every stream i've been doing on youtube i have to like mute a section of the stream because of music playing just so it doesn't get copyright claimed by someone who's like hey that's my music i want to like, add more section to a stream i have to mute for vod viewers So I'm afraid not. Something you gotta be more mindful of on YouTube than say Twitch. Don't let Nintendo get wary of your music. Well, it's many other people besides Nintendo. But video game music doesn't get flagged. Uh, there's often a lot of copyrighted stuff in video games themselves that are like produced out of the studio. 
And sometimes the developers themselves will still like put their music into the, the copyright claim system. So it's something you can never be sure of. It's just something you learn to live with and get around as much as you can when you're a content creator. One of the reasons you'll notice in my YouTube videos, I almost never have any music from a game playing, just to avoid that issue altogether. How long are you allowed to have copyright music? Uh, generally, after around four or five seconds, that's when the claim system, if it's in it, it'll probably like hit it. And then you'll have to like either challenge the claim or just mute or cut out the section. Currently, I'm just muting the section it's in so that I really will feel like I don't know if I'd win the claim or not. Probably would because usually you do if you challenge it. But it's like, yeah, it sometimes takes a while. So I was like, yeah, I'll just mute the section. It's usually like a minute to a two minute section of like a cutscene I was mainly being quiet for anyways. Did you see Metro... Uh, uh, Metro Boomin and Future, I got a new album dropping. Not, I'm not familiar with them, actually. I thought when you said Metro, you were going to talk about the, the FPS game. this next side quest. Something I need to check. I'll we'll probably make some new stuff. Oh, uh, we can make high ethers now. That's pretty good. I'll hold off though, because I might need that Cosmite Orb or something else. We can make a Spirit Bound Bracer. That looks pretty damn good. Uh, Babu Wood. Bob, Bob, Bob Wood. <laughs> Splendid Bracer. I still need Planet Spirit for that. This will probably be stuff I get in, uh, the next region. But this is... We'll make one of these. Hmm. Armit Cal. Increases vitality and spirit by 30. Grants immunity to slow and instant death. That would have been handy earlier. Uh... Yeah, sure. Karmic Cow is the best? It seems like it is. Uh, don't really want to take healing materia earrings off him because we'll put that new thing I just made though. Celestial, was it the Celestial Bangle I made? No, it was the Spirit Bound Armlet, because it has the two Link Materia slots. You know, I forgot I have Jump Materia on. Uh, what do we want? is only good on your weapon or a spell. Limit Siphon? I don't know if I'd ever... Uh, I might try that out. Aerith definitely needs a better bracelet. Oh, she can have the cele mm, Celestial Bingo it is. Wind, Ice, Revival, Warding, maybe give her an MP up. Oh, good. Wait, I got an MP up on her? Oh, it's on a different staff. That currently, because the ceremony went... Okay, okay, okay.
Also, I've got, you know, I got a bunch of materia on, on the, another staff, that, but this one is just like, yeah, it's kind of throwing me off. Mm, and some of these are link materia, so I can't really use them very well. Oh, I guess I could give her fire materia. She doesn't have that. Eh, just to have something on her. You're a homosexual, but you don't use grinder. That's not my type of homosexual. <laughs> Uh, well, that, that just means you're healthy because you don't want to like just be constantly hooking up all the time and have it be not be worth anything. I respect. It's a proper mentality to have, no matter whether you're straight or gay. Twitch. What about Twitch, Jim? My name is Johnny Five. Please stop referring to me as Robo Chad. It is cringe. Is LinkedIn a Tinder? LinkedIn is just for you to like post your job history. So like in future employers can look at it possibly. So it's, it, I, I'm assuming you could probably, I'm assuming some people have tried to use it like Tinder maybe, uh, but it's not what it's for. Now set advanced actions denoted by plus, such as augmentation plus and shock plus. To program them, you must select them from four additional conditions. These actions are extremely powerful, so be sure to program them and trigger the best possible moment. I'm just going to have the game do that for me. <laughs> Was right to send out three of these. Wait, are they not weak to thunder? Oh no, there they go. Kill. Kill my children. heal right now. I'd rather put up pressure on it. He's doing a lot of damage to my pistol. <laughs> Ouch. I'm gonna guess he sends up... Shit, he sent up fire somewhere else. Why didn't you finish killing this one? K kill the freaking floor! I'm 
gonna have to like kill this thing with a comet if they don't kill it soon. I'm gonna have to use comet on this thing because they can't kill it. Looking pretty good. Looking good. That was, e that was easier than the other fight. When do I plan on streaming next? I might be taking tomorrow off because this is like my sixth day in a row streaming. Uh, so I might not stream tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but uh, so it'd only be one day off though if I did though. I'd imagine. Good night. Hey, Super Tramp, have a good night. Thank you for the $2 Super Champ, by the way. Proto Relic confirmed. Oh. When I die, will I return to the live stream too? Given what I am? I hope not. I don't want you in, you know, like, Earth Heaven. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Cloud, you're here, finally. Let us go speak to the Almighty together. Perhaps we can That's make some fine. excellent new materia. A gift Wedge left behind for us. Listen, I just... Uh, I want to say thanks. You all being here, it helped. Oh, we... we didn't really do anything. Now that the ruins are fixed, what's next? Uh, actually... I was wondering if maybe we could join up with you guys? Wait, you can't be serious. Think about it. We haven't heard Jack from HQ, but these guys are out there making a difference. I know, We've but... turned them into extremists. What do you say? We'd be happy to tag along if, uh... And who the hell said you could? People not willing to die for the cause got no place with us. Uh, I'm sorry. I just thought that... Your hearts are in the right place. But y'all... Y'all got a different path to walk. One that's... All your own. Man... I can't eat another bite. <clears throat> I suppose it's time for yours truly to say his piece. Here it comes. The grand finale. May the planet guide your words. And keep them brief while she's at it. <laughs> <clears throat> so, the five of us here all came together because we wanted to save this planet of ours. Ain't made much money. Ain't made a lot of friends either. But... The one thing we do have deep in our hearts is a passion. A fire that burns for the cause. That won't stop burning till Shinra goes up in smoke. The road ahead won't be easy. But I ain't stopping. Because even if it costs me my life, I'm uh, taking down Shinra uh -huh. and taking back our planet. So if you got the guts, then come with me. I'm hungry after all, for justice. <laughs> hungry. I, you know I'm in. Get it, chat, because he's well, big. If everyone's feeling it, how about we keep things going with another round? <laughs> Team up, get me another Cosmo Canyon. Sure. Make it five. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming Tifa is the best at holding her liquor because she doesn't seem drunk. Have we progressed through the game's main plot? I left after we now know about the black materia and that the Gi are the ones who created it and we now need to go to Nibelheim to, act to access a Shinra computer so we can learn where the you know, temple of this the Citra is to find it. Want for us. Now, I'm not saying we should forget about them. No way I ever could. 
But you and me, we gotta stop living in guilt and regret. It looks like the knickknack one at your grandma's would have. Oh no, it's one of those things. Oh, okay, they're lighting it for the team members. Okay. But that was the proto relic for a second. <laughs> I'm on a ledge. Today's a new day, people. So let's not waste it. Come on, y'all. <laughs> hey, wait. Forgot this. Here. How do you carry that like that when it floats? Again. Just give it up. The proto relic's staying with me. Ha! Silence! You caught me unawares once, but it will not happen again. Burning desire to reclaim my stolen prize rages evermore. What you have taken shall be returned. Oh, we actually get a fight on this time. Oh, the music. I got you. It's a battle of the bridge. Cindric Swordsman, a Cindric Swordsman who covets the proto relic, save for his larger than life personality and his curious obsession with Cloud, he remains shrouded in mystery. Debating or perfectly blocking his attacks will cause him to stumble, allowing him to be pressured. He's weak against everything. <laughs> Pressured by just missing. Oh, I don't have much MP on me. I can't. I will use an item. I am outmatched. That blade you wield. Oh, the mere sight of it has kindled in me a covetous desire. Could it be that hunger for weapons brought me hither? Wherefore does the memory elude me? Return what you have stolen. Can you talk about the Genji gear? Give it back. Stand and deliver. Halt, I say. Let it go. 
I'm not. Until you return what is mine. Uh, only then shall I rest. Only then shall you know peace. But not until that day. <laughs> I really only know about Gilgamesh from like weeding Wikipedia entries and also the where he appeared in FF9 and 8 as like a summon. I never played 5, so I don't know what was it 4 or 5 he was in. It was 5, right? Fascinating. I believe I understand the situation. All this time, he was seeking the proto relics in order to restore his lost memories and make himself whole. Guess so. Wait. So what exactly are the proto-relics? It is, of course, too early to say anything for certain. But I suspect they may be some manner of armaments formed from matter not normally present in this dimension. If we assume the giant was also from another dimension, then there is a possibility that he was the original owner of the proto-relics. Wait, so if they are his, does that mean we should give them back? Given the phenomena he has been able to conjure in this dimension without the proto-relics on hand, I shudder to think what havoc he might wreak were his powers fully restored. It might be prudent for us to gather a bit more information on the proto relics. Chat, I just had a horrible idea. For now, I, mean, I just connected I dots in my brain. The artifacts and, perform a thorough analysis. and I don't like the ramifications. Right, so. Uh, do you know how some people suspect that Final Fantasy X is a continuation of Final Fantasy VII because there's a kid in it who's like really scientific and he's called Shinra. He's like a big nerd and he wears a mask the entire game. Uh, <laughs> and also they kind of hinted at that there's like a... They showed a guy in a mask in the museum in Shinra headquarters in Remake. What if that was Chadley? <laughs> It's it's been Chadley all along. There's a reason he had, they had to stay. He, no, Chad, you know, he never saw like a Shinra's face in FF10 and 10-2. He just he's he just like I'm just a kid, and he had to scratch your your Bobby Hill voice. You could have been using a voice changer or chain stop, and no, no, you all need to realize that this might be what they're going for, because with this your know, proto relic quest, they've already confirmed that other dimensions be out there. Maybe he learns from this how to travel through them and like one day ends up in FF10's world. Why would you say that? I told you I connected scary dots in my brain, all right? And I had to voice them into the void because I hadn't I hadn't heard anyone else voice this theory. And it makes a scary amount of sense if you're going to like go with the whole FF10, FF7 connection. He used Gilgamesh's cheat to cross dimensions. Exactly. That's what Gilgamesh does. And I don't think Charlie ages since he's an android, so he, even if he went to FF10, he would stay as a kid. And of course he would like link up with the science-based people, they all bed in that dimension. But the fans piece it together. You know what, guys, spread this theory around on all your favorite you know, Final Fantasy subreddits and Discord and make sure you credit me, because I, I think it's I think I'm the first. I think I've cracked the code. Inspired your proficient programming, Chanley has made some adjustments to his game to offer an increased challenge. How do you feel about the Black Materia record? I actually like that because the Black Materia would just like, it's a thing that's there. Why would the, it just, why would you have like a Doomsday Materia in the first place? So it actually kind of needed some explaining. Uh, so I kind of like what they did. They, that was smart to actually use the Gi since they didn't really have anything going for them anyways other than just their enemies of like the Nanaki's people. Say, so I, I'm cool with that actually. You wouldn't to know anything about the SRC, would you? They were trying to make a deal with HQ. And I don't know what their game is, but it smelled like trouble. Well, here's hoping it's just a misplaced hunch. I hate that. I hate FS7 stands. Tried to hard to say XSC. Well, it wasn't this. Like I said, I I don't personally believe it is, because the worlds don't match up that well. It's just because of funny little things and the developers being a bit cute. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about the SRC. What's the SRC? They were trying to make a deal with HQ, and I don't. I'm know not sure what the SRC is. is. It smelled like trouble. 
Here's hoping it's just a misplaced hunch. Had to go and assume, didn't I? What was I thinking? FF15 Gilgamesh is literally the right hand man of that game's main antagonist. Oh, uh, FF5. Oh yeah, I, I know that's where he comes from. Yeah, and he gets he gets thrown into a portal at some point, and he ends up traveling to a bunch of other Final Fantasy games. He even appeared in like the DLC of Stranger of the Paradise. Had to go and assume, didn't I? What was I thinking? I'm gonna talk to the lady here, guys. Wait, come to think of it, I don't see Gigi. Did he? He went off on his own after we got to Cosmo Canyon. Said he had something to take care of. Hope Gigi's doing all right out there. Oh, so he is alive. But uh, I don't know. That, that just when when they were talking about the proto relics there, and like, oh, this is from another dimension cloud. That's when it like clicked in my head. Like, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. They couldn't possibly be that cute about it, could they? I'm sorry I've birthed this, like, horrible theory into all of your brains. It was not my intention. But it was my responsibility, it seems. He used a self-destruct on himself to defeat an enemy for you, so he should be dead, but they retcon that. Uh, well, retcons do happen. All right, what are we doing now? We did the pro. We got. We still have side quests to do. Uh, we won't do the main quest just yet. So, mm, let's, uh, head to the training course. Actually, I never did the training. I don't know if I want to do the training course side quest. Uh, this is the photograph thing. have awoken fell asleep back during the black materia stuff what do we learn of this stream uh we've basically been finishing we did the proto relic quest here in cosmo canyon it was all about uh basically we had a new mini game and all of it was tied into like barrett's memories of like his old team with barrett and wedge and jesse so we got a lot of memory lane stuff good times I don't think we can reach right over here from here. We're probably going to come around this way. Ooh. Uh, Get on bird, go up mountain path, fight thing, maybe get around to this. Seriously, watching chat freak out over that theory. That was... Chat, that was the funniest shit I've done in a while. I don't know why. Multiverse. Contentedly, the multiverse has been confirmed for a while. Isn't Gilgamesh always a bit of a clown? Uh, technically. I mean, he didn't really do much clownish stuff in 8, where he just takes Odin's sword and then becomes your, like, random summon. Why do I always let her do that and not interrupt? Why am I being nice to a fictional character? But in FF9, you don't even know it's him technically, but he's definitely comical there. How do you get out of this, this place? Okay, here it is. it's adorable yeah but i've heard it like a dozen times gilgamesh is the main antagonist in the gladio dlc really i, I didn't pay attention to that dlc other the only dlc of ff15 i played was the one where you play as arden Gloves up. Rare desert saw hugging variant detected. 
Commencing Guidance Protocol. As their name suggests, these Sawhuggins are closely related to those found living in the sewers of Midgar. Though they have instead adapted to the desert, they possess the same intelligence and social behaviors, and have been observed hunting in groups with their trademark tridents. Their protective carapaces are so tough that the Glad warriors of DLC is awful. once fashioned them into shields. I would imagine those fiendish I stop counting? Yeah. them a measure of offense Stop well. counting a while ago. Remember, the Sawhuggins have home field advantage, so take care not to fall prey to their tactics. Best of luck. Hmm. We do need to save as well. It's been a hot minute. Oh, I almost forgot there is another thing I need. To, I need to go back to Coral and fight that robot in the Queen's Blood match. Now that we unlocked it, because that'll give us another, like, cutscene into the mystery behind Queen's Blood chat. Oh, the wheat dice. Uh, rare. Exploiting their element of weakness will pressure them. That's a good enough. Calling ice. Gotcha. Oh, they petrify. Shit, they petrify. You're mine. I looked over and read that. What about Ninja Turtles? These guys, the Sahagin, uh, they can turn you into a frog, but they're not frogs themselves. Heroes in the half shell. Yeah, I am thinking of maybe within soonish doing my uh, tier list for like, you know, cartoons the cartoon theme song soon that'll probably be like a youtube exclusive you know stream i think maybe might try that however that would probably not be archivable because you know the nature of youtube that'd be a lot of copyright material except for this guy and he doesn't look uh, they have shells like turtles and come from sewers my yeah but i don't think they're turtles though <laughs> Just, I'm just spitballing here. I don't know. Maybe they may. They didn't say that when I scanned them. After all, Go on. I'm noticing there's always a big scorpion with you know it's with a penguin for some reason. Ow, 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 oh god. Jesus, let me live.
No, 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 no. Spells at you. Feeling chilly? Someone looks kind of shaky. Why don't you leave the I'll make it hurt them. What has been hotel? All I know about it is some YouTuber spent a bunch of money making like fan fiction animation of himself with the main character. But I think it's one of those like Cal Arts cartoons that says fuck a lot <laughs> for some reason. That's a, that's a nice scene, isn't it, Chad? Very nice. Oh, it's following. Why is the camera following her? You can sneak a photo error if you wish. Just make sure it's a good one. <laughs> Obtained a photo of Aerith while praying. Sneak shots. <laughs> Has been hotel got a full season on Amazon Prime, so the YouTube pilot worked. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I know it's a cartoon, but I was talking about some YouTuber who got infamous because he made like a fifty thousand dollar animation that he funded with his own money of basically fan fiction of him like having sex with the main character of it or something. It was really like a big new. It's like you know, big uh, big lulls for like a solid week. Everyone was having a good larf, larf, a larf at it. Uh, let's see. We've almost done everything on this side, so we might as well go and finish up because we just got that and a dig spot. Great kecks were had exactly. some good armor.
You have U-Town Funk at home. Yeah, it is. Chocobos always get the funky music, man. You know, Cosmo Canyon is reminding me of Joshua Tree a little bit from where I was in the desert in LA. I mean, the cactus didn't quite look like this, but I don't know. Similar on this here. We're almost done with Cosmo Canyon chat. Oh, we still have the side quest to do, but we've only got... I'm not planning to do the, the mini game where I'm flying through rings. So I really only have like a photo left to take. And then something with Bugenhagen. Yeah, he wanted me to measure Mako frequency. Uh, but for now, we will head up here. You remember this day as the one where you almost caught Captain Dark. Hmm. You know what? I'm fine with this. For being always referenced amongst famous movies. Dargan was the equivalent of Red's grin. <laughs> He goes again. She can do this in every region, it's only in Cosmo Canyon. Alright, uh here. Mako thing. The worst pirate. But you have heard of it. No, uh, you, you gotta use the word streamer. But then again, there have been times where I committed piracy in my life. That was pretty good at that pirate. There will be more of Yuffie's tunes. Well, part three is where Yuffie will have like some major like plot relevance now because of what they're doing with Wutai. Like I'm assuming you're gonna be fighting like a war between Shinra and Wutai in that game, based on what they've said in this one so far. Kind of interested, like watching Kate Sith climb. Oh, he just like pops up at. You'd think as a cat robot or whatever he is, he would climb a little bit different. Sir, they'll make Wu Tai just goofy. Well, they've already like given hints in it. They're like, currently Wu Tai is like ruled over by like three like former soldiers, and they're all like Organization Thirteen like, and. uh they're about to go to war with Shinra and everything, so they got something planned. Also, Scruffy, thank you for the raid, man. How was your stream? Uh, welcome, welcome, uh, Scruffy viewers. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually glad Wu Tai is being like made into something other than a tourist trap. That was because they they were completely optional before and you didn't really even have to go there. So doing something with them is nice. Uh, hey, nice emote by the way. Pokemon? Yeah, it's Pokemon. But uh, hope your stream went well. Tonight's been pretty well for me. Wonder what they're planning to do with Vincent in relation to Sephiroth? Oh, good question. I'm not really... If it's, well, I guess we'll find out more when we reach Vincent. Uh, I couldn't tell you what they'll plan to do with Vincent since he had a big side quest in the later end of the game, but that was it. it but it did deal with, like, Sephiroth, so it'll have to, like, tie into that. Alright, uh... How did I get over here from here? Uh... Whatever, it'll be quicker if we go here. He's gonna tell your mom joke. I'm actually wondering how Vincent's combat's gonna be with his whole monster transformation stuff. That could be kind of interesting because it could like make you could have like a couple different versions of like combat styling with Vincent.
Uh, I guess you'll also see uh, he has more uh, with Sephiroth's parents and Sephiroth himself. Though. Uh, yeah, but they're probably gonna expand upon that. I would wa I would wager, anyways. Something over here. I don't think I can go that way. Forest trap thing is still sadly a very accurate and definitely a story version worth building upon. It feels like they've dropped that idea. Like they were, they instead of that they got taken over by like this new group of people who are like making them into like a threat again. Uh, are those chocobos blue? Yeah, these chocobos can they can't fly like a gold chocobo, but they can glide with wind currents. Every region basically has its own chocobo with like slightly different like abilities to it. Since they're probably saving chocobo breeding for the third game, since you kind of need the airship to like go around and grab them. Plus, they've already have enough mini games in this; they didn't need another one. It's like, yeah, we'll hold off the chocobo inbreeding until you know third game. Wait, is this where all those lanterns keep going? Oh no, it's just regular lanterns. Can you defeat Sephiroth in one of your in one your mama joke? Your mama's a rip-off of the thing. That's the best they got, I'm sorry. Yeah, Genova doesn't really have a character that we know of. Why am I getting off? I don't need to fight any of these. has to be something right oh wait i bet you can like park the the uh the plane here when you when you get it this is definitely a dock for that oh that's some nice tinnitus in my ear where'd that come from it's about the buzzing Can you at least sing it in one of the different tunes of, this, of the game? Oh, uh, okay, that's not how you get to this thing. Or this fight over here. Interesting. So, 199 Super Chat from Steven Choza. I'm sure most of Vincent's stuff will be... Oh, it'll, all of it'll be... We meet him in this game once we get the Nibelheim, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't really do much besides outside of the Nibelheim area. Uh, I believe he does fight with you, maybe, somewhat, but it's sort of like how Red 13 did in Remake. Uh, but they're primarily saving him and both him and, you know, Shid for the third game. Uh, but I am interested in what they're... because they've, they've expanded a ton on Yuffie. I actually think Vincent will be the star of the DLC for this game, if it gets any. Just like Yuffie was the star of the one, you know, the DLC for the previous game. A bit, a bit money. If they make DLC, it'll be about him. Is Genova an alien? A it's a Gen yeah, Genova's an alien. She came from outer space. This one's all dried up. It would appear this spring has all but with her. You have the Mako meter. Yeah. Five, eight. Not looking good. This thing isn't picking up much. Hmm. I see. But it's still too soon to draw any conclusions. Let's try another location, shall we? We may yet get encouraging results. Go on ahead. I will catch up to you when I am ready. I must go. My people need me. Maybe do some Zack stuff to the timeline thing? Mm, depends on how the, the, the Zack stuff goes by the end of this game, I guess. 
Let's see if we can get to that fight area. It looks like it's up on top of this. what they did with Yuffie's gameplay. I expect Vincent to be uh, Yuffie's opposite counterpart. Well, like, uh, a lot of, I'm assuming Vincent's will be a lot of him transforming and stuff. I don't think I can make it. That's a little far. These things don't glide so well. Nope. go over this way. Vincent turns into a... Th yeah, he plays like a Resident Evil main character. How about that? Oh, we got a well? Okay. Almost done. You're in luck, Cloud. I've uncovered the location of a dangerous fiend. A vicious dragon seems to have awakened in the Cosmo Canyon region. You must slay it, ere the fair earth is dyed an even darker red. Thank you, Wikipedia boy. You must slay, chat. Cloud, can you once again dress in that becoming dress you wore perhaps in your wall market? I need to study it for research. I may be able to develop some new materia. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. new theory. Remember how I was talking about earlier about Shinra possibly being Chadley from FF10? Shinra was also the one who developed the dress spheres. The dress sphere system let people change into clothes at like a snap of the fingers. He got the idea from Cloud is like, well, actually, technically, that's in this game as well when they did it to Yuffie. <laughs> like, Yuffie got hit with a dress sphere at Cosmo Canyon, remember? I guarantee you there'll be some kind of connection at some point now. <laughs> it makes too much sense. I mean, it's dumb. Very dumb, but you know what? Sometimes dumb things happen. Lightning just Cloud in his true form. Technically, a little bit. However, it's the boring version of Cloud from your Advent Children. And it makes all the fucking sense, and I don't want it to. Chadley, Chad, Chadley will become a, just like Gilgamesh, Chadley will become a multiverse traveler who ends up in most of the Final Fantasy games. Not just this one. He's already been in Final Fantasy X and now now. This is his origin. It actually that actually considering how weird and out of place he is, that would actually make a lot of sense. Chadley will be like a new character who like shows up in all the Final Fantasy games of the future. My sensors indicate the presence of a unique life form. Rare Griffin variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Griffins are a union of bird and beast that soar through the skies on mighty wings and take down prey with sharp claws. These creatures have existed for eons and appeared in countless legends, yet have never undergone... He's gonna make an appearance in Kingdom... He actually would fit in perfectly well in Kingdom Hearts 4, sadly. He feels like he's already from that. 
Nomura baby watching. Maybe I am Nomura. You ever think of that? Maybe I am wearing a bunch of belts and very over-designed outfits right now. Griffin variant that mutated as a result of direct exposure to life stream shortly after birth that creates clouds of dust when it soars. Uh, they will eventually cast off the protective wind shroud and send them hurling around the battle. But at this point, they will become pressured. Use lightning on it then. Oh, I don't have lightning on, on cloud. Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. Coming for you. Go on. Vincent again, yeah. Vincent used like a double barrel rifle or something like that. Magnificent work, Cloud. Have this region's fiends proved a fitting challenge? One glance at the data will tell you they are clearly no match for him. I don't recall asking you. If you haven't noticed, I'm trying to These have a conversation with Cloud. So please quit. Cloud, if you're in need of a challenge, Know that another combat trial awaits you. One thing I don't like about this game is sometimes it feels like the enemies will instantly focus on a character. Well, they do. That's how it was in Remake as well. Uh, there are ways to, like, do it. That you have provoke materia to, like, make them not do that. But otherwise, yeah, when you switch to a character, they'll kind of, like, focus on that one. All right. Uh, let's see. I think these two are the same person. I mean, I believe Mai only exists virtually. She doesn't have a robot body like Chadley does, because we haven't never we've never seen her outside a virtual you know virtual world. Uh, let's see, we got another fight over here. Mm hmm. That's the big fight, though. Uh. I'm not sure how to even reach that. You come from up here. People always hate people similar to themselves. Hmm. You know what? I submit to your thesis. I hate Chadley because he reminds me too much of myself. I can't deny it anymore. Okay, it's not quite it. Looks like it's down there.
But getting around sometimes is a real big pain in the ass on in this game. I think what we'll do for the night is we'll fight this monster and then we'll go fight the the robot guy in blood, you know, in the card game. Oh, I didn't shit. I need to make it over here. I think. Where the hell do I go actually? Where is intrus? Trying to Yoshi dump the chocobo. <laughs> it's like this thing can like fly across ravines, but it won't jump off like a 10 foot ledge. Unless it has a ramp first. Here we are. I guess I just need to come this way. I'll be able I have to fly back to like fight the robotic card game since it's in Coral Prison. So I'll have to activate Sid at the airport. So it depends on whether Sid will let me like fly there first before he, unless it like makes me fly to like nibble him. Uh but we'll see. Alright. Uh okay, we're all near death. Uh, okay, let's fix that real quick before we fight a you know, tough monster. Aerith needs ether. for the music. legendary dragon that sleeps at the bottom of the canyon. It is an aging creature that has lived for eons, much like the minerals its body composition resembles. Surrounding ecosystem suffers grave damage every time it awakens from one of its long slumbers, inflicting enough damage or exploiting its elemental weakness with Gorgon, while Gorgon shield is active, will both pressure the beast and remove the shield. Okay, so use fire when it has Gorgon shield activated. Thank you. 
nice he knocked her out of her animation. Did he lock my AT- oh, he locked Cloud's ATV gauge? What the fuck? That's new. Or did he pet- I think he petrified Cloud, actually. Aerith alone so she can get a spell off, you piece of shit. Let me get anything off with Aerith before he like goes in for the kill. Raise the limit low. Uh, Soldier Moogle class. Let's try that one. I haven't seen this one yet. Now I can use Ascension. Oh shit, he, he, man, that stagger did not last very long. I'll wait. That's just instant death if you don't. Okay. You gotta have stuff that protects against that or you're just screwed. That was cool. Alright, I'm gonna have to like respec for that fight. Alright. Alright, I see. But I, I do wanna go fight the robot if I can. So we're gonna go see if we can call Sid in. Wait, that was not the checkpoint I got. What? No, 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 no. That that was not a checkpoint. You load my proper game in. What happened? It cast like insta like put every petrified everyone. Hold on a second, what the fuck? 
got to be this one then, right? No, it, it petrified the entire team with one spell, so I have to like go in with like charms on that keep me from being that. So we're going to go do something else right now, because I kind of want to. I, will, I might do this off stream or wait till the next time I play the game. But I, I do want to like play some cards tonight, so we're going to call Sid in, because we're going to like go to Corel. What's the range of the spell? It seemed like there's the entire arena, honestly. Cast Fire of... I know I did... <laughs> it said to cast it when I was casting a spell, but I didn't see it in that protective state. But uh, I'm pretty sure I can beat it. I just need to make sure I protect it against stone. You're going to cut here. See you at the next stream, man. Hey. Thank, you for choosing thank you for being here most of the night. Sit, my friend. Couldn't you give us a lift to Nibelheim, could you? A little far. But not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. Sid can fly all the way back to the grasslands on another continent in this thing. I know what he's talking about. Uh, Nibelheim, a little far, but I don't know. I can take you all the way to the grasslands, too, if you want. Uh, but we're gonna go <coughs> back to Coral real quick. 300 bucks, steel. Hold on tight. I guess we'll be going to Nibelheim tomorrow. Or uh, if I stream tomorrow, I haven't decided. Probably will. Don't be a stranger now, you hear? Sure won't, Sid. Alright, robot is in the prison, I think, right? Yeah. Good night, hey, White Wolf. Have a good night, man. Alright, if we beat this guy, we'll get like a new cutscene involving like this mystery behind the cards, so. Might be like the net last step before we fight thing, whoever the, you know, whatever it's up, whatever we're up against that's threatening the world with magical card games. Robo from Chrono Trigger? Not quite. He wasn't this dapper with the hat. Okay. I'm just going to go with my current deck. <clears throat> Solid opener. Truly foolish. Now we need to lock in. This robot said he got an upgrade. He's like sucking real hard. I do say he sucks real hard right now. Like what was this? What was this? This guy is like rank eight. Oh, I 
Ryan's got a few more tricks, I see. Let's see. This will make sure we win middle and bottom rows, though he's kind of still screwed. Unless he's going to be one of those decks that has nothing but like replacement cards in his hand, so he can like constantly like cycle out his old cards with new ones. Alright, he's got 10 points from that, but I've got 9 and 12 from the bottom and mid. Well, we've got to play. Okay. Still playing cards. Buddy, come on. How many of those do you got? That was a waste of time. Would you consider sending Darksiders? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's sinnable. I've never played any of them. So it's something I could consider in the future, for sure. Alright, what kind of weirdness are we going to see now? This man's been trapped in the Shadow Realm so long, he's going nuts. That's a hologram. Outside the home of Ledrell Balmon, the famed creator of Queen's Blood. Now let's hope he's willing to answer a few questions for us. Uh, what's this smell? It's awful. Mr. Balmon, are you home? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Mr. Balmon is dead. How long has he been in here? Seems he shit his pants. Oh god. Is... The results of the autopsy reveals the cause of death to be starvation. The state in which he was found suggests that he had been playing Queen's Blood without stopping to eat, drink, or sleep. I found numerous cards scattered on the floor around him. And hold on. What's this? That card. It looks like the shit. The recording breaks up after that. As it so happens, Mr. Belmont was in possession of the world's one and only Shadowblood Queen card. However, the card was not found in his home, leading to theories that the reporter who discovered the body stole it. The reporter in question subsequently went missing and... Unexpected shutdown occurred. We can now take his hat. Queen's Blood. 
Yeah. Version updates required to secure a path to world domination. Thank you very much for playing with me. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Tactician. Speaking of, I've received intel that Regina, the card game maven you met on the Shinra 8, is in Gungaga. Oh, yeah. A clash between two players of your caliber would surely be one for the ages. I want to do one more card watch. game chat? One more. Back to Gungaga. We'll get another quack. Quacked out, cracked out cutscene. Uh, go to the airstrip. Hoping we could salvage him for scrap. <laughs> one more, one more. Yeah, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. in the fly prepare to be razzled and dazzled appreciate the business man fun flan there partner I've come to play cards. Welcome to Gungaga, where you can taste the bounty of our beautiful land. Don't forget to try some of us. It's break time, boy! You, me, card games, then hallucinations. Alright, sound good? Sid isn't playable? Yeah, they're saving him and Vincent for the next game. You can't have like a brand new game without new playable characters, right? Cloud, fancy seeing you again. What are you doing here? No, don't tell me. Are you here for a match? I'm game, I guess. She seems like she's lost her confidence. Oh, well, come on. You doing this or what? The most beautiful game and the character in the game is returned. Chat be simping. It's not a bad hand. Seems tired. Too many card games. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's do a dick move on him. <laughs> However, I gotta like get, I gotta do something to recover from my lack of like cards to play here. <laughs> With that in mind. I'm forced to play this. However, I can retake it. Gosh, I got... Actually, this might be pretty good to play. Mm... No, wait. I'll use that as my surprise card when they play something in the bottom row. We'll just play it safe at the time being. Oh, wait. I can do this. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh wait, that didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. <laughs> Good. Oh well. All right, I got control of the board. That's all that matters. Oh. Well, still technically got control of the board. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, dudes. Drop it. Okay, we'll just keep fighting over it then. Oof. Okay, I think I'm gonna lose. Oh shit. Definitely gonna lose. I don't know why she was so dejected for she's whooping butt. Like, yeah, he's over. What was this card she played? With a dragon? God damn. Hope she okay, we need like a lucky run where she doesn't get that. Not gonna lie, she's the most attractive uh, Gyaru design I've seen in a while. Uh, I can give you that, yeah. She definitely stands out. Yeah, but she def she also, to me, looks like a stereotypical card game anime character. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I'll, t I'll take that. Gonna play something there, or she'll take it in the next turn. So, might as well try to lock her out of playing something. Force her to play a weak card, at the very least. Yep, that's it. Well, I think the weakest, but better than nothing. Now I can do this. Definitely not winning the middle row, though, I don't believe, so it's no reason to fight over it. Mm -hmm. Might as well set up to let. Mm, no, if I do that, he'll take it. So I need to be careful. Actually, it might be better just like kill off his cars. Maybe I can win this row. my best chat. Uh, this, this lady's got one killer called that one. That's the card I need to be worried about. That can turn things around quick. Uh, let's see, what can I do actually at this point? Mm, not a whole lot.
Uh, I don't know. I might be able to. I'm going to try something. Now I can play this and weaken the dragon by three and put me at nine. Alright, I can no longer play cards if this lady has all those cards that replace ones that are currently played, so we'll see. I didn't change anything. Okay, I won. We did it. done after the card games uh we'll see maybe it gives me another one after this but one day a change came over the queen in the blink of an eye her love turned to hate her compassion to cruelty fair and beauteous though she remained her heart became black as pitch conquest was now her cause her subjects mere fodder to feed her boundless ambition. And so her kingdom grew as her people perished. Until, that is, a ray of hope appeared. A sorceress who would be their salvation. The Emerald Witch, they called her. And with her arcane powers, she led the people in rebellion, captured the queen, and put her to death. Hard games are serious business, by the way. Blood as dark as shadow, and from this wicked Icor. Okay, I always call it Icor, not Icor. Resurrection is nigh. You know what must be done. She cannot be allowed to return. She must not reclaim her throne. I pray you will succeed where I so miserably failed. You are our last. He knows my name. Wait, what? You must hurry. Is it the gold saucer? Don't mind me. Not been feeling so hot. Okay, you want to go? You guys want to go see this? Cloud, do you know anything about the Shadow Blood Queen card? It's the most powerful card in the world. One of a kind. Though. Seems there's a special card that can supposedly counter it. The Emerald Queen. the blood card about Genova? I think so. <gasps> sorry, sorry. Just forget I said anything. I'm really tired is all. Too many competitions lately. What was off about her? Slow and steady wins the race. Alright, let's go back to the gold saucer real quick. I mean, another flight. <laughs> this guy, where are you going now, son? Didn't I just fly you here? You really come all the way to play cards. Okay, that sneeze, that was a really good one. 8 out of 10. That was a drawn out chew. Nothing like the drawn out chew of the awe. Eyes watering afterward. You need a plane just to drive the buggy? Uh, I could run back there, but it's way quicker to fly. You rang? It only costs 300 bucks anyways. 
Uh, why are you in a shadow game? Because this game has an intricate card game that is basically a, a lost season of Yu-Gi-Oh! at this point. Have a good one. I like how they had Yuffie throwing up in the background. <laughs> right, to the gold saucer. I am going, I'm risk. usually past midnight is when it's more likely that my, my internet provider might, you know, do maintenance on their network. And it, so if it, the stream dies, just assume that's what happened, like last night. Wait, when he says Haunted Mansion... Am I? I could. He could mean the Nibelheim. Oh, you're. I bet. I bet it's the Nibelheim mansion. For some reason, I thought he meant the ghost house. And I will check. I don't know. It's theater time. But I think that's when we come back here later. Yeah. For some reason, I forgot about the you know, the Nibelheim mansion. That that makes more sense where he would be than this place. It said the haunted hotel. Oh, okay. Never mind. You're right. He did say that. a room upstairs are we streaming tomorrow i haven't decided i might decide to do, throw in one more stream before i take a day or two off it depends on how i feel i also gotta need to get a lot of work done on editing first but if so then i might throw in one it might not be a five hour long stream though in this old room Maybe I gotta talk to reception. I can't wait to spend an entire night surrounded by Marlboro everything. You know, what do you think this guy's spine condition this man's spine is in if he's being dropped like that from the ceiling every time? Uh maybe if I rest? He's sitting in the lobby. He's in the lobby. Okay, I thought he must have had his own room. We hope you drop in again soon. We cannot delay. <laughs> I'd love to have his job. I heard one of the rooms. Oh, he's a ghost. I'm afraid you're not up to the challenge just yet. Go and try. You told me to come meet you here, though. Wait, he's actually. These are not holograms. These are real ghosts? He must be a, okay, we need to win more matches before he will. I'm afraid you're not I guess we'll find more opponents in Nibelheim before they know they'll come phase us. Oh well. Oh well. Does that mean they actually those are real ghosts they keep in the hotel though? I thought those were just like holograms. That is where we're going to end tonight's stream, then, if that's all I can do at the time being, without going to Nibelheim. <coughs> Chad, that was a great stream, by the way. A lot of great stuff happened. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm streaming tomorrow. Uh, I will, of course, schedule one if I decide to, and then I guess we'll reach Nibelheim and check stuff out there. We'll see. Uh, I will definitely be doing the rest of the, you know, Cosmo Canyon stuff off stream tomorrow, regardless if I stream or not. But, uh, we'll continue as soon as I stream again, either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, but Chad, you've all been wonderful tonight. Thank you for spending your time with me. Thank you for any bit subs, gift subs, memberships, super chats, guests, member, you know, gift memberships, all that great stuff. Thank you to the mod team. I, I, I really, that sneeze really took a lot out of me for some reason. <laughs> sneeze are big calorie burners, Chad. 
Uh, follow me if you're new on Twitch. Subscribe if you're new on YouTube. Hit that like button uh, before you leave on YouTube as well. Apparently that really helps out. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, that's it for me tonight. I am gonna go get something to drink to you know dry my throat out. You've all been wonderful. I'll see you either tomorrow or the day afterward. Peace, everybody. <laughs>